fighting sire. Sire. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> 
from? Oh, it's you! Hi! Welcome everybody, happy Monday. Welcome Paratwise, Ailmancer, QP, Bogu, Ash, Lisa, Board Game Heaven. <laughs> Who will win? Ian will win every time. Welcome all of you and welcome Lurkers, it's great to have you all here today with our extra Monday stream. This time sponsored once more by Daredrop. Uh, from where I got the key for free. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no hey, different. Hey, dude, welcome. Great to see you as well. Yeah, I got the key for free from their drop, uh, and we are going to uh, try out the game today. I'm going to... Uh, this is Warhammer, first of all, Rogue Trader. Uh, feel free to type no. exclamation mark Rogue Trader just D -D 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 dungeon siege. to get the... Uh, oh, we have a gothic boost also. Thank you for the boosts. Bogu. No. New critical hits must. Board game siege. heaven just musted Tez. Arena. And Arena. New <gasps> critical hits must. Quiescent pandemonium right. just no, musted no, tactics. No. No, no, no. New critical no. hits must. Quiescent pandemonium just musted no. sacred. New critical hits must. Quiescent pandemonium just musted kingmaker. Thank you for the boosts. Board Game Heaven and QP. Much appreciated. Yeah, um... It's time for you to die. <laughs> nice one. Oh, I didn't roll either. I completely forgot. The axe will rule all! So yeah, we are going to try do a roll trader. Do you hear the voices too? I do. I hear a lot of voices that you, you all are playing. Moo. <laughs> Moo voices. Uh, we are going to play up until... A prologue. I do love butts. Sorry, up until the end. Of <laughs> you love butts as well. Okay, everyone does apparently. Uh, I up do until love the butts. end of prologue today. Uh, this game is pretty much a critical hits game. So, um, wait. I'm not a huge fan of butts. I, I, I am. I don't really care. I, I could probably care less, but I could also care more. You know, it's you know. I don't know. I don't find them. That's great. They're okay. Elder. Not bad. Now, Elder is great. Unlike bots, Elder is great. So, uh... Rock if it Trader is my destiny, then so be it. ...is very much a critical hits game. It was nominated uh, earlier this month, like six days ago, actually, uh, by Ale. Uh, you clearly don't understand Mitral. You need to pick a... <laughs> Wait. What do you mean? You clearly don't understand comma mitral, or you? Ah, uh, is it is it me not understanding, or are people not understanding me? I'm I'm confused. Am I the one not understanding? I need to pick a camp. A camp. So I I either have to be a butt slower, or I have to be not a butt hater. I don't know. Hey, Cherry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You are probably curious uh, what kind of conversation you have arrived at. I am not understanding, okay. Butts or baps? 
bot hater. No, I'm not a bot hater, but I'm also not a bot lover, you know? It's it's just part part of a body. I don't know. I don't know what's the big deal with bots. Honestly. You go on uh, go on loving your bots. I don't care. What I care about is games. So <laughs> I'm bot neutral, yes. I am bot neutral. You could say that. You could say that. How are you, Cherry? Good to see you. Welcome. So Rock Trader, <laughs> I will I will promise I will finish my sentence this time. Rock Trader is a critical list game. Uh, right now we are not playing it as part of critical list. We are playing it as part of a sponsored stream. We are going to continue prologue, which should take us three to four hours. Uh, but it is within the critical list list. It's already nominated. It already has some boosts. If it ever gets up to the top and selected, I will restart the game. If this prologue playthrough will not be counted for the critical list playthrough this is just the first look first look this is like an introduction in fact this is an introduction for me into the warhammer universe this is the first time i am going to be playing a warhammer game apart from some space marine multiplayer which didn't give me much uh, information on the background lore or anything it was just a few hours of fun i haven't played any other warhammer uh, video games i think i may have played some of the mmrpg at some point uh, I haven't played the tabletop games. I don't have any miniatures or anything. I am completely clueless when it comes to Warhammer, so this is going to be my introduction to the world. Also, my introduction to the Owl Cat CRPGs, who are the makers of the Pathfinder games, Wrath of the Righteous and um, Kingmaker. So uh, it's going to be a nice uh, teaser, I think, for all of us. Um, coughing like crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure, Cherry. Sorry you are feeling bad. Hope you recover soon. Tristan Streak, thank you, Cherry. Thanks for being here. As a great wise man once once said, we we are all batsmen. Well, true, yeah. We are batsmen. We may not be batsmen, but we are batsmen. So yeah, um, we are going to take a look, uh, play through the prologue, and um, if it all goes well, uh, I should be able to get another key for finishing the prologue. Which, which I should be able to give away to you. Lost Ruins is not for you on GOG. Yes, uh, I saw that and I picked it up. Thanks for letting all of us snowboard game on. I really appreciate that. Uh, go to the GOG.com. Pick the game up. You're a bot's verb, yes. <laughs> and um, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I should be able to give, give the extra key away. Uh, but I'm going to go into the details of its... Uh, later, once I actually have the key, in case I somehow uh, cannot get the key, then no promises, but I should be able to. Uh, and that's it. Uh, how are you all? How is your Monday? It's it's a weekday. It's the first day of the week. I think probably some of you are busy, but hopefully not too busy and um, able to enjoy the stream and the game. And thank you so much for dropping in early, stopping by early into the stream. And um, I will say, so far, I am very impressed by the uh, soundtrack. Well, I should not say very impressed, right? There are some soundtracks which blow my mind, but this is also very good. Uh, I think very good written compositions and high quality. It's, it sounds like what Warhammer uh, soundtrack should be. Dissection If, if that time. makes any sense. Hey, Vero. Welcome. How are you, Vero? Good to see you. And the game has a 3 hour OST, so they didn't spare any expenses when it came to this soundtrack. I, I am looking forward to listening to all of it, but not today. <laughs> yes, indeed. Excited to see me play an Owlcat game. Me too! I am I am um, slightly nervous, uh, very excited. Uh, we will see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't disappoint anyone. Hopefully I'm not disappointed myself. We all have a good time. All this heresy. Chaos! Consume us! Uh, so by the way, um... Hello? Game capture? Why are you capturing my Steam? I just tested this. What is going on? Let me try this again. The 12 hours of Detroit become human. You are looking. <laughs> but you must be enjoying it. Hello, game? What's going on here? 
I tested this right before the stream. Um, if I go to the settings, graphics, um, this is weird. If I minimize Steam, this is this is weird. Hmm. What to do? Let me restart Steam. Let's turn on the music for now. Don't forget to drink water. That's a good idea. Maybe drinking water helps. Okay, this is working weird. Let me try something else. Um. Let's see. Okay, what's going on? Um, if I put Steam here... Okay, now it's capturing my desktop. That's even worse. Hmm... How to solve this issue? Let's... Maybe try something like this. Yeah, I, I have no idea what's going on. Let's make another window capture. I am not sure if it's OBS. So if I turn this off, if I add another window capture... Oh, there we go. Okay, um... Let's set this to this one. Alright, now we should be good to go. Hopefully, uh, the cursor is not here. We probably want the cursor. Let me take a look at that. Capture cursor is selected, which is interesting, but it's most definitely not captured. What happens if I... Oh yeah, cursor is here. If I go back, cursor is here. All right. Hang on, boys! <laughs> you shouldn't need window capture. I, I play the game on borderless uh, window, borderless full screen, so it's a window, and I prefer a window. Anyway, uh... This is good enough. Let's check the settings. And was much rejoicing. Did I turn the music off? Yes. Okay. Uh, if there is anything we need to look go. at, we will go back and look at it. Maybe turn down the volume a bit. Frequency of character voice response. Uh, let's go with frequently, maybe. Let's get looted. Well, let's go with constantly for now. We can turn it down later. Okay, I shouldn't need accessibility options. Let's go back. All right, let's take a look at this. We as developers are always striving to improve our work. To do this, we need information. Okay, yes, sure. Send whatever. Main story. Can we change anything? Can we select anything else? For Gork and Mork! <laughs> Take up the mantle of a rogue trader, the scion of an ancient dynasty of daring privateers that reign over their trade, protectorate, and explore the fringes of the known galaxy. Darkness looms over the bloodline of one Valencius as it faces multiple threats from within its own ranks and without as countless of enemies seek to destroy the most daring and brave agents of humanity. It's up to you to hold the reins of this shattered protectorate and forge a new path for the von Valencius dynasty, not defining itself in a vortex of wars, intrigues, calamities, and heresy. The stakes are high, and rise even higher as you cross paths with terrifying the powerful and ambitious adversaries in the darkness of the Coronus Expanse. 
Let's see. Um, so, what are these? Um, we have story. So, what is the normal? Normal is enemy unit dodge modifier is somehow lower. But the momentum gain modifier. I wonder what momentum is. With momentum, your party members can use unique abilities called heroic acts and desperate measures. Daring is also a normal modifiers. Okay, uh, I, I will go with that, I think. And we will learn what's necessary to learn um, as we play, rather than reading a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, let's go with daring. No modifiers. Choosing this difficulty is not recommended for players not familiar already with Rogue Trader system, as well as its implementation in this game. Do you confirm your choice? Pfft. Of course I do. <laughs> I will regret this, probably. Casual 12 hour reading stream vibe. <laughs> you did find on Daring Blind, okay. But y you are probably better than strategizing. Shut up! Game we know what doing, exactly. So, um, custom character. Let's create a custom character, of course. Create your own, your very own rogue trader from scratch. Possibilities are endless when it comes to customizing your character and choosing their home world, gender, and background. You can also choose from a wide variety of abilities and skills, such as combat skills, social skills, and technical skills. These abilities and skills determine how your character interacts with the world and what kind of challenges they can overcome. Finally, you can choose your character's archetype, or an archetype path offers its own unique set of opportunities and challenges, so choose wisely. With all of these customization options at your fingertips, you can create a rogue trader that is truly one of a kind and embark on an adventure unlike any other in the world of Warhammer 40k. You did as well until you stepped on a place that clearly wasn't made for fresh out of the prologue party. I don't care about that because I'm not going to be playing after the prologue. He is not, but his fate is strong, sure. I can save scum as needed, yes, I will. So, um, we start with a portrait. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I like this. Retreat is not an option. I kind of like this one. I like this one. Is this a tech priest? Yes, this is Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Sorry, I, I missed your message, Cherry. You went for the dude who looks like you-ish. Let's see if we can find that one. Clearly this one. Right, Vero? This is what your hair looks like. Being British now and all. Uh. <laughs> oh, this one? This looks kind of like you. What is it about? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It takes place in the Warhammer universe, and we are going to figure out soon. This is my first playthrough. This is a CRPG game, that much I know. Ponytail and goatee. Ponytail and goatee. No one is a ponytail and goatee. What are you talking about? Were you imagining things? Oh, this one? No. Wait, yes. Um, I don't know. This one's face looks more like you, honestly, than this. Y yes, we will make our own character. Um, let's go with this one. Looks like a Ventru. Sort of. Drinking a glass of blood, right? You think I'm Asian? No, I don't, no, I don't no. think you're Asian, no, but you kind no, of no. Just no. have a face like that. Hey, Proc. New critical hits boost. Procyon Lauder just boosted Banner Saga. How are you, Proc? New Good critical see. hits boost. Procyon Lauder just boosted Banner Saga 2. Thank you for the boost. You went, you went through. Okay, for that, we are going with this. Um, this and this doesn't really look like... Oh! It, it took to hair, nice. I guess it took the whole face and stuff as well. Oh, that's cool. This game has the proxy of approval. Good, good. Hey, Draven, welcome. How are you, Draven? Draven, which portrait did you choose? Also, uh, Bogu, did I see you having a custom portrait? Like, it was, it was a portrait that looked kind of like Edwin. 
but not quite Edwin. I'm not sure where you got that from. And how did you do that? Outfit settings. Ooh, we can outfit settings. You went for one of the pre-made characters. Oh. For speed. Gotcha. Game supports custom portraits. I should have taken a look, probably. Okay, we will keep the body and the face since they were uh, selected according to the portrait we choose. I will even keep the hair. You know what? We'll go with that. Um... Do you think she has tattoos under those sleeves? Probably not. Augmentations. These must just be, um, you know, decoration. Ainsley Harriet photoshopped in Deadwood's <laughs> part. Start fresh for your real playthrough. Me? Yes, of course. For my real playthrough, we will start fresh. Lay in the course! Your existence is naught but ashes! Heretically, man. Ruinous favor prevails. All hands, prepare for acceleration. I always keep my options open. Macro cannons! Open fire! I'll mention this triumph in my memoirs. I'll Can see I you help destroyed! You find anything? Permission to backseat? What is it about here? We haven't even started. Sure, go ahead. Um, what is this about? I think the Ventru character would be pragmatic, Keep your wits right? about you. You know how to give your meet the girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that comment? Well, look, let's try three, four archetypes automatically. Of course, Cherry. Of course, you are very welcome. To make your MC the other one if you want to try them. I, I'm not really worried about trying everything. It's fine. We are we are going in uh, blind right now. I don't want any pre-information. This could be an opportunity. I will probably go with something roguish if I can find. Okay, so homeworld. Let's see what this affects. Strength, agility, fellowship, toughness, intelligence. Willpower. Perception. There we have perception. Is, is the agility. Hmm. So what is fellowship? Fellowship represents a character's ability to interact with other creatures, to deceive, charm, or befriend them. So it's like charisma. High fellowship will help the character find a way to approach a gathering of unsociable servants or to effortlessly, effortlessly make deals with treacherous merchants. Agility measures the character's quickness, of course. Strength describes how physically strong a character is. Toughness defines how easily a character can shrug off. Okay, we know what toughness is. Measurement of characters, acumen, reason, and knowledge. It affects lore. Logic, Medicaid. I don't know any of these. Obviously. Willpower. Reflects a character's ability to withstand the horrors of the warp, terrors of space, and the dreadful opponents they are bound to encounter in the coroner's expense. Heal power allows characters to exert control over a crowd to, or interrogate a heretic. Oh. Okay. We also start with a bunch of talents. Chaos Brutal Hunter. Consume us! Death World characters. Critical it's Axis Hammers. Wounded Beast. Each injury increases Death World characters' agility and willpower by an additional plus five. Lifetime of Scars. Death World characters take toughness bonus, less damage from flame, toxic damage, bleeding effects. Tenacity. Once per combat, when a Death World character is suffering from stunned, blinded, or immobilized condition, this condition is ignored, and they instead gain 20% temporary wounds to their maximum wounds. I believe wounds is hit points, pretty much. Like, they don't gain wounds, like, they don't take damage. It's probably like their maximum hit points, they gain temporary maximum hit points, is probably what they mean. If I had to guess. Oh, what is this? Survival instincts. Once per combat, where the wounds of a death world character drop below 30%, they get 20% of their maximum wounds as temporary wounds. Okay. Doesn't sound like a sound like a rogue like character. What is Fortress World? 
Sports wars are planets where the entire populace is immersed in warfare. They constantly train for the day that they may be called upon to defend Imperium, a charge they solemnly uphold. Fortress worlds are established as bulwarks against the enemy. Every citizen is a soldier, trained to fight from the moment they can handle a weapon. Psycho warrior from that world. For your off-stream run, okay. Do you have two runs? One on-stream, one off-stream run? Combat addicts. Retreat is not an option. An imperial world is one of a million planets united by the beliefs in the imm immortal god emperor. Healing from hyper-technological societies to grimy feudal populations, the inhabitants of countless worlds offer fealty and devotion to the master of humanity and the imperial creed espoused by his servants. The designation imperial world encompasses a vast area of wholly dissimilar worlds that are nevertheless part of the imperium. Better to die for the emperor. Forward you dogs to victory. I don't think we have that, Bugu. Hey, Tazen. How are you, Tazen? Good to see you. Forge worlds are the domain of the Adaptus Mechanicus. Entire planets ceded to the demands of vast macro industries. Each is a ma manufacturing super complex of an imaginary capacity and power. Over the millennia, different forge worlds have become especially renowned for their philosophies of or ways of war. These are often colored by the technologies they specialize in manufacturing. The bulk of forge worlds population is utilized as labor force, whilst the fortunate few may be inducted into the ranks of Adaptus Mechanicus itself. High World a high world's population is so dense that great swaths of the surface of the world are frequently covered in gargantuan cities, bejeweled with towering spires that pierce the atmosphere. High worlds are vital to the welfare of the Imperium and are the beating heart of its economy and war machine. They produce munitions for the Emperor's armies in mass manufactories, mine valuable minerals and refine fuel for the Imperial Navy. Innumerable regiments of Astra Militarum are raised from their massive populations as well. Wait, born are humans birth is this mostly humans except maybe the the forge world I think it's all humans right at least imperial hive and void born are human what is that world all of them are humans this is all humans I didn't realize adaptus mechanicus was a human thingy Voidborn are humans birthed into the belly of a void vessel or aboard an ancient orbital, orbital satellite. Those who have lived their lives on void ships become inured to some extent due to the reality altering process of warp travel and to living in low to or zero gravity environments. In many cases, their features are drawn and their skin pallid. They may even have minor deformities or strangeness to their speech, gait, or general appearance that sets them apart from others. Um, mm, I think I will go with High World. Strength in numbers. High world characters gain one fellow bonus to resolve if there are three or more creatures allied or enemies in a three cell radius. Yet they suffer minus two penalty to resolve with no creatures around. I I I like this. I like fellowship bonus, agility bonus. They start out as people slowly become toasted. Ah, okay. <laughs> Comradery. High world characters can pass field power resistance tests using their fellowship value stats. See? I this doesn't even hurt me. If the character's fellowship is higher. Outnumber. If a high world character has melee superiority against the enemy, the effect is increased by plus 10. This this feels a lot like a flanker, right? You know, you have the outnumber buff, you get fellowship, agility, strength in numbers, it requires you to be near others. Like one enemy, one other uh, ally, frontliner, and us would be uh, three people. We would need just one more to not have this uh, to to have this bonus so it, it's it feels a lot like a flanker in a way that a rogue does i think um today you realize your left eye is slightly blurrier than your right oh um have you should maybe see a doctor you know get a test done hopefully it's not the start of something um something bigger all ranged weapons dealing physical damage have plus 1 damage, 5% armor penetration, 1 rate of fire, and minus 5 to recoil. Obviously, I don't think we will have like backstabbing rocks in this game. We will probably use a lot of guns, right? If a high world character starts their turn adjacent to an ally character, 
That high world character gains plus 2 MP. If high world character ends their turn adjacent to allies, they all gain plus 2 MP on their next turn. Might be lazy eye, might be use of PC screen usage, might be a lot of things. Yeah, might be a lot of things. Better get it checked. High world characters gain 50% bonus to dodge against the first attack of opportunity everyone. Okay, let's, let's go with high world. I mean, she doesn't look like she's from high world though, right? Well, maybe she does. What do I know? Astra Militarum Commander. So what is this origin? Um... So a quick look. Oh, and we have Noble. She is definitely Noble, right? The high nobility of the Imperium are an enormously privileged and powerful elite, a breed apart from the common masses they rule. You grew into adulthood upon a pedestal of affluence and grandeur that towered high above the common masses. You expect their obedience and lived upon the fruits of their toil surrounded to your family in solemn fealty. Hopefully not cataracts. That's the first thing that came to my mind, but it's probably the least uh, chance of happening at an early age. We get fellowship, we get intelligence, coercion, persuasion, even more fellowship and stuff. You, sir, me. You, die now. Do we have you die now? No, we don't have it. You, sir, me. Noble assigns one ally who will become their servant until the end of combat. Anytime the noble's abilities affect the servant, the servant gains plus 5 to all characteristics until the start of noble's next turn. So this is kind of like a leader. In time, the servant attacks a target that noble dealt damage to last turn. Any time the servant attacks a target that the noble dealt damage to last turn, the servant gains fellowship bonus stuff. It could chance. Okay. You do something. If a noble uses an ability on their servant, the servant gains plus one AP next turn. The, the noble servant gains plus two moment points every turn. If the servant has less than 30% maximum wounds, noble can use you, serve me, once more in battle. Designating a new servant and removing the effect from the previous one. <laughs> so we abandon the previous servant who is about to die. The noble cannot designate a character who, who already was their servant as combat. You protect me. If the noble and the servant are adjacent to each other at the start of noble's turn, they both gain temporary wounds equal to servants. Toughness bonus or Noble's Fellowship bonus, depending on which is higher. Okay. You kill it. If the Servant kills the target that the Noble dealt damage to last turn, Noble gains plus one AP next. Okay, let's let's go with Noble. I'm not going to go crazy looking at all of these in the first playthrough. In this, in today's playthrough. Um, so this is Triumph. Your strong presence and persist persistence stop the feudal war between neighboring systems. You were named planetary governor and survived, having made useful connections on both sides of the law. You had a rival noble house's reputation destroyed and its members exiled from sector. So what is coercion? It's Big probably like intimidate. Big head, yes. This skill is affected by fellowship characteristic. It represents a character's talent to manipulate other people through intimidation, reach their desired goals, where threats, pressure during dialogue. The skill is effect. Okay, it represents the character's business sense and their ability to make profitable bargains. May give access to new dialogue options. It represents the character's talent to manipulate other people through negotiation. It allows the character's character to reach their desired goals in all in dialogues by making good impressions and peacefully convincing others to agree with their point. Let's go with the persuasion. Dash big. Oh, we choose something negative now. Darkest hour. The mysterious tomb that was discovered in your family library exacted a terrible toll on your mind. You are a bastard and a legitimate member of a family that immediately turned its back on you. Forgot to knock. Hey Johnny, why well, hello there, another Monday. Good to see you Johnny, how are you doing? How was your Monday? You were kidnapped for ransom and your captors mistreated you up until the moment you were treased. Uh, it represents the ability to resist negative effects applied by some poisons, stimulators, and alcohol may give you access to new dialogue options. It reflects the character's understanding of the Imperium tenets, history, and structure. It represents knowledge about nature of war and these and their twisted physical manifestations. Let's go with this one. I'm doing well. Really curious and excited for this game. It's, it's already... Uh, 
we've been trying to create a character, even though I'm skipping 70% of what we see, is taking a minute. This is a very detailed character creation. So, um, archetypes. So there are four archetypes, uh, which uh, become one of the six in 16, then becomes an exemplar at 36. So all of them in the end become an exemplar, whatever that is. But we should not get there anyway. I mean, we will probably not even get here. Seventy percent rookie numbers. That's that's what I'm skipping. Should should I skip more to not be a rookie? Warrior, officer, operative, soldier. So let's see. Officer makes more sense to noble. Let's start with that. Officers use their willpower and fellowship to improve the combat capabilities of their allies, turning them into even greater threats on the battlefield. Okay. Operatives use intelligence and perception to find and exploit weaknesses. This kind of sounds more like a rogue, right? Ooh. What do you mean not playing a rogue? I am I am going to play a rogue. Operative is like a rogue. Core focus, precise single attacks, defense penetration, area debuffs, consistent firing position. Soldier is a master of all ranged weapons. It's not worth trying to cram the ND class thing. I am not doing it seriously, Very, Come on. Come on. You don't need to try and correct my thinking all the time. It's, it's just a joke. An operator uses... But this is the one that feels most like a rogue. That's... That's the... Uh, that's the correct assessment. Analyze enemies, expose weakness. Characteristic intelligence perception. I mean, uh, the noble was very focused on fellowship, so the officer makes the most sense with the noble. So we will probably go with just autistic enough to have a poor track record of knowing when your people are joking unless it's obvious. Yeah, I, I understand that. I, I am kind of what you would maybe call a serious joker. I, I usually don't even smile when I make jokes, so even people who know me very well, like QP, even he sometimes cannot tell if I'm joking or if I'm serious, so I don't blame you at all. Um. I, I think we will go with Officer, just because, um, you know, we chose the run through... Um, looking portrait which led us to noble which led us to fellowship which leads us to officer so let's go with that officers use their willpower and fellowship to improve the combat capabilities of their allies turning them into even greater threats on the battlefield core focus extra turns single target buffs risking allies momentum bring it down the officer immediately grants an ally an extra turn with action points equal to two and no movement points if the ally is under the effect of voice of command Ed kills an enemy before the end of officer's turn. The ally gains a one-time additional uh, officer's fellowship bonus momentum. Voice of command. The officer forces an ally to fully push themselves, increasing their characteristics by plus fellowship something formula. Additionally, all of the officer's abilities can be applied to the target of voice of command from any distance. Okay. Factory become, but we want to be close, right? Maybe we go back. Maybe we go back a little bit. Um, Time to reap the spoils of the battle. Uh, maybe challenges we... make the spoils that much sweeter. Let's be at the high world. Ch switch, switch our focus to um, what is commissar. Fellowship, weapon skill, I like the sound of those. Um, fellowship, agility, I like I like this even more. Brace for impact. Maybe I've surrounded your allies in three star radius gain something. Okay, let's go with the Navy officer. Our triumph will be 
awareness. Under your command, the void ship braved the terrible war warp storm without a single casualty among the crew. Uh, what did we choose? We chose Navy Officer. Darkest hour will be... Commerce. Once in your past, when the temptation of easy gains got the better of you, resort to piracy and were caught red-handed. Noble Officer is what you are doing. Uh, okay, we will go with... I was about to go Noble Officer, but I changed my mind. We will go with um, Navy Operator. Navy Officer Operator. That's what we will go with. We will go with the Rogue. Character 6. That's what you are doing on stream too. I, I almost chose what you both chose. I am glad I changed. Honestly, I'm glad. Okay, so this is interesting. There are one, two, three, three fellowship skills. One, two, three, four, five, six intelligence skills. One agility skill. One toughness skill. One strength skill. Hmm, okay. And agility only affects demolition. But agility itself should be valuable. It's used to deactivate traps. Demolition is used to deactivate traps. Hmm. How many points? We have 30 points. Weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness, perception. Okay, we can only raise by 10. Let's raise perception by 10. Weapon skill. What is the difference between weapon skill in all forms of close combat? Ballistic skill is range weapon. I think I will go ballistic rather than melee with this character. I don't know if this will work at all, but we will try. And 50 agility. Let's go. Void ship. Sword class frigates. Any names? Any ship names? Any recommendations? The Barber Jersey. <laughs> USS Enterprise? What is this? Any other suggestions? It's a sword class frigate. How about Excalibur? I like that. I like that idea. Let's do that. Let's go with Excalibur. The Sword Class Frigate is a classic combat ship design proven in thousands of battles combining decent firepower, high speed and respectable survivability. Okay. Result. Edit name. Rogue Trader. Mitral. We are from High World. Hopefully this makes sense, I don't know. I, I don't even remember our skills now. For one round, the Navy of Surrender allies in 3 cell radius gain plus 2 deflection. I think this makes a lot of sense, the, the combination we have chosen. High World, Navy Officer, and Operative. I think it makes a lot of sense on paper, but I'm not sure if I will be able to play it to full effectiveness. We will see. So what characters are the rest of you playing, if you are also playing the game? Noble Officer for Pro Canveru. What did you play, Bogu? What did you play, Draven? Your pre-made character, do you remember your archetype? Crime Lord Soldier. Okay. Commissar Officer all the way. 
Are you playing the ML? Did you did you pick it up? Okay, let's go. Are you enjoying it? You're pro you are probably enjoying it, right? <laughs> An excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation. Of the God Emperor's sublimity. The man who has approached you is gazing down into the depths of the world, vast temple on one of the lower decks. The guide, the ruler, and higher power to which man to offer their prayers for aid and deliverance must would be driven mad with despair if they knew the truth. We don't know the truth. Click to expand. What is the truth? There are a couple things that I've viewed for you. You'll see soon. Okay. Okay, Cherry, thanks for stopping by. It was great to see you. Hopefully you get better. Hopefully the coughing stops. Have a great rest of your day. You're in a dialogue here. You can learn more about current events, influence the characters you are speaking to. Okay, I know what the dialogue is. All this ostent ostentatious luxury, this lovely pretense. It's enough to make one thing that the architects meant to compensate rather than glorify. In... Interesting perspective, says this woman. However, allow me to offer you a bit of advice. In the interests of your own well-being, you should frame your thoughts with greater piety. Demonstrating such a lack of care when choosing your words might be viewed by certain people as evidence of insufficient trepidation before the God Emperor, the master of humanity. I prefer to serve by acting, not speaking. You seem to attach much importance to words. Well, I have a fondness for names. I have yet to hear yours. <laughs> <clears throat> My apologies. The statements you made were so intriguing that I forgot myself. The man lets out a laugh that he deftly masks by clearing his throat. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. Kunrad Voitvir, Master of Whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Voitvir bows his head and focuses his attention to you. So what's a rogue trader? A subject of the Imperium with a unique hereditary title, a rogue trader is tasked with exploring and exploiting the still charted regions of the galaxy for the benefits of mankind. Okay. Commodore Mitral von Minard, Lord Captain of Drusus' Blessing. Minard. Commodore Mitral von Minard. I didn't know I I had such a fanciful name. Lord Captain of Drusus' Blessing. Drusus' Blessing. My regards, Lord Captain. Though perhaps I should refrain from addressing you thus well. Aboard this vessel. With all due respect, Commodore. Wait for your smiles faintly, but you are not sure it is directed at you. I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius, and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. You have a curious title, Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? To put it plainly, I am the head of the network of spies and informers who serve the interests of House von Valencius. I uncover weak links both among Lady Theodora's retinue and in the ranks of arrivals. 
I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. Why am I aboard this vessel? Why have I been brought here? So that you may fulfill your blood duty. Whatever obligations you had before, they are henceforth null and void. By order of the Lord Captain, you have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader, indeed blessed by the God Emperor. I see that you are shocked. Yes, you understood correctly. Lady Theodora's authority indeed supersedes that of those whom you obeyed before. The Lord Captain's power is so great that she is capable of performing unthinkable feats, such as changing the fate of a servant of the Imperium. Your fate. You say I'm one of the Rock Trader's heirs, so there's another candidate? There is. And you will meet him soon enough. Wait for Shrek slightly. Tell me about the one on whose ship I have found myself. I would rather not discuss the Lord Captain behind her back. Especially not on board her ship. No one knows better than I that whispers are wont to attract particularly close attention. <laughs> Waitsbeer laughs and shakes his head. Uh, suffice it to say that a ladyship is the bearer of the sacred warrant of trade and a woman of immense power and entitlement. However privileged your position may be, I ask that you do not incur her anger by being disrespectful. Yes, yes, I get. I got the key for Lady free. Theodora so we are doing a sponsor stream. Mm. How are you? It's good to see you. I get one claw. Just musted Gorky seventeen. Mm. New critical hits must. I get one claw. Just musted return to Cronder. What? Hey! Hey, Nix. Welcome. How are you, Nix? Good to see you. The Gorka people are here. Ikid is here. Nix is here. They just they just got out of the Gorky Seventeen hey. meeting, weekly meeting, and now they they are able to join the stream. Welcome, Gorky people. Good to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> I assume you had some goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let us address it. But of How course, are you two? Okay, next. I have your come Monday? to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure <laughs> you will get me the chance to many be a questions for you. It is regrettable. I that think the you cult is gone. Yet had an opportunity to speak. It has been an arduous voyage thus far. I don't think there's a cult anymore. I think Willem has deserted you. I haven't seen him in streams since I uh, shared my feelings about, uh, you know, contacting people personally, sending them messages. He hasn't stopped by since. I think he took offense or something, but he's not coming anymore. So, your leader is gone. Probably cult is dismissed. <laughs> it's all right so far. I'm making supplies for the rest of the year. Sounds good. For the rest of the year, you mean 12 days. That's what the cult would want you to think. Oh, okay. The Lord's Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform. Let us join them there. So, a uh, brace for impacts. For one round, the Navy Officer and their allies in three cell radius gain plus two deflection. For each archetype taken by the Navy Officer. For each archetype. What does it mean? Can we take more than one archetype? Uh, I guess it means like... Pick one archetype here, pick another here, and then... Pick a third here. You're working on lurking, it saves a day, as your boss is off until next year. Alright, Nix, good luck with your work. Thank you so much for the lurk. About 15 days because shop reopened on 3rd of January or so. Okay. Good luck with your work also. Good luck with what, with what you have to do with it. Third leaders of Coca-Cola. <laughs> These are covered. That's the most important thing, right? That means at level 16, you get one more bonus stuff. Then at 30 again. Yeah, it's like 16 and 36. Okay, next. Sounds good. So it does not really um, mean anything to us for now. 
Analyze the enemies. The operative targets one enemy within 10 cells from the operative. That target immediately gains plus two exploits. So what is exploits? If the operative hits a target with an exploit stack, the attack deals plus five times perception bonus percent more damage. The damage is also increased by 10% for each exploit on target. Okay, so this is like you stack exploits and on the enemy, then you shoot them for uh, additional damage. So this has a cooldown of one round, costs one AP. Oh, this is zero AP. I can't... Oh, once per combat. Okay. We start with the pistol shots. Two is reload. X switches. I there like are stuff here. Charts. Wow, there is a lot of stuff. Good, okay. This is going to take me probably more than what this stream, how long this stream will last to, uh, to get used to all of the things, to learn all the things. I won't be able to learn all the things. Always keep your eye on the prize. Why do so many people mistake Rogue for Rouge? I think it is not a very difficult mistake to make. It is it is an easy typo. Because you pronounce it Rouge. I, I don't understand that. Because people like wines. Or, or they like lipsticks. You never pronounce it Rouge. Rogue. What is my character's background? My character was a navy officer. Uh, rogue. That's what Diablo told New you. New critical hits boost. But the one Mardo with R O U G E is a French word two. that is pronounced rouge. New critical hey, hits boost. Marto underscore Varna just boosted mass effect three. Which means red. New critical hits boost. Marto underscore and Varna lipstick. just boosted an Acronox. Marto, when is your GOG stream? You shared that. You shared that fancy. New announcement hits picture Fazan just boosted Undertale but you did not give New us a date when boost. is it next 242 just boosted Gorky 17 New critical hits boost Fazan just boosted Ass Effect 2 As New effects, critical okay. hits boost next 242 no. just boosted Legend of Grimrock New critical hits must next 242 just boosted Gothic 2 New critical hits boost Fazan just boosted the Twitcher. Twitcher? You didn't think anyone would look at that. What do you mean? Of course I, I saw it. You shared it on my Discord. You, you think I wouldn't look at it? <laughs> so when is it? Tell me. 21st of December at 7 p.m. Bulgarian time. That is same time zone as we are, right? 21st of December. That's... That's my day off. I can watch it. That's great. Marto, that's great. I'm glad you are streaming there. Moose can be overwhelming when they came out like a way. Baldur's Gate time. Baldur's Gate time is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, are, you, are you going to try and join the stream team? Or is this a one-off one, one guest appearance? Thanks, thanks, for the, uh, thanks for the boost, everyone. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. They are marked with specific icons. Some icons allow you to study objects. Others will transfer the character to neighboring locations or launch a small event. These icons become visible when your character is standing close enough to the interactive object. Okay. Click left mouse button to uh, on the icon to perform associated action. Hold tab to highlight. Okay. Just a guest stream. They will have you. You'd like to join them. Why not? That that's good. That's nice. I hope you do. GM two plus two or oh, we are plus three. Okay, so it's eight p.m. our time. Show the data on the weed screen. The sacred mechanism has been interfered with without due reverence. The duration of the data processing cycle has tripled. Incomprehensible information is displayed on a large screen about. About the cogitators, you can make out references to unfamiliar systems and worlds among the numbers and logistical symbols. Let us not dawdle. The second mechanism has been if okay, same thing. Can I click on this to get rid of it? I cannot. 
A massive conference table, obviously crafted from real wood, a resource of incredible value aboard the void ship. If I see you raise your hand again, I'll hand you over to the tech priest for servitorization. Okay. If I read all of this stuff, this stream will take 10 hours before I finish the prologue. Lay people interfering in the operation of the sacred mechanisms disturbs the machine spirits. In the name of the Omnisia, refrain from any further profane acts. Okay. Can we talk to the engineer at least? I always keep my options enemies. open. We need enemies. We need enemies, yeah. Less dialogue, more enemies. What are you doing, you fool? A candlelit altar with a copy of the 3000, 2348 volume of Lex Imperialis, the Codex of the Sacred Laws of the Imperium. Is there money to be made? They are worshipping a brook. Saving. What is quick save? No quick save? No way. Oh, quick save F5. Quick dot F8. Okay. Achuta. Okay, QB, okay. I always have a backup plan. Can I talk to this guy? I cannot. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around after your audience with the Lord Captain. Are they hacked? Run! The servitors have gone berserk! Two arms! Follow Kunrad, destroy the out of control servitor. To survive in the grim darkness of the far future, you will have to face enemies of all kinds to fight for your life. These hints and tutorials will familiarize you with the combat system of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Click, at, click the button at the top of the screen to start the battle. I am but a humble servant! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Joint analysis. All battles in the game are turn based and take place on a grid. On their turn, character can move, attack, use their abilities. Select the cell within the highlighted area and double click. Okay. Movement points, sure. Let's see. Uh, let's Who? use this. If not me. Wait, no, no, no. What did I do? Did I use it somewhere? By right clicking? Did I waste it? My gut tells me it's a bad idea. I, I tried to cancel it by right clicking and I accidentally used it. That's fine. Let's analyze it. So how do you cancel? Do you press I escape refuse. maybe? Just click it again to cancel. But that would require me to move the mouse cursor all the way down here. What are we actually saying? What's going on, Cupid? Shift one. I won't compromise. I guess. Achuta. I saw Draven's message. I was answering Draven. I guess you okay. You must have used it, you know, due to the latency. Anyway, moving on. Can I shoot now? Um. Let's go here. Don't let your guard down. To make attacks and use abilities in combat, the character must spend action points. They are totally displayed on the panel at the bottom. Of course. To attack, first click left mouse button. Over the curse of an enemy. Okay. 
Certain abilities in the game are considered attack actions, can only be used once per turn, unless affected by specific talents. Okay. If character performs an attack action, they will not be able to attack again and will lose their remaining movement points. Okay, so we have to shoot once we are ready to end our turn. So why can I not shoot? Because it's not within my range, is that it? Oh, I can use stuff in the during the fights, maybe? Interesting. Hey Blackbird, welcome in. Never try to save my life again. How are you, Blackbird? How's your Monday? So I cannot shoot because this crew of is blocking me, is that it? There will be no more pain. Taking calculated hey, risk Pai. is my second nature. Welcome, Pi. How is your mind, Pi? You need to choose the bullet fire still. Oh, I have to do that? So left click doesn't just attack, okay. I'll make it happen. Your end was inevitable. What suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. Servitors malfunction on the officer's <laughs> deck at exactly the same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered. After four hour nap. I have blocked you had all a passages long night, between right? the you upper and lower sectors shit. of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, <laughs> I should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Without taking his eyes off the bodies on the floor, Voig Tweer removes the Vox caster from his belt and speaks a few quick orders into the device, then he turns to you. What's a Vox caster? A piece of technology used to communicate over short distances or to record sound. Okay. No, no, off work for a week. That's good. It's, yeah, pretty much a walkie talkie. A radio. Spread out. No one is allowed to enter the premises. Stations. I'm afraid I must remain here. For Lady Theodora's safety, I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no New difficulty reaching the observation Ilorzea platform on your just own. Boosted, do me it a is favor. just at the end of this Boost corridor. There will be no more pain. pain. I'll do you a favor. Bye. There we go. Thanks for the boost. Look at the Do other you hear the lines. voices too? The lines on Wake Fear's forehead soften, and his voice regains its usual courtesy. The master of this risk gives you a card ball. Can we loot? Always no. keep your eye on prize. The wires in the servitor's head are still smoldering, it would seem the cause of this malfunction while the short circuiting of the motive force. Tarantula, Sentry Gun, Lemon Rus Battle Tank, Lemon Rus. A violet alloy, which upon closer examination turns out to be a handcrafted object. A black shard resembling obsidian. Massive gold amalgam, amalgam interspersed with sparkling particles. Amalgam, not amalgam, amalgam. The stone on the pedestals is no doubt solid, but its surface shimmers and changes hue, as if someone has captured a piece of turbulency within the rock. Strange object that resembles a sea coral. A grey-green crystal with white veins. Keep your wits about you. You can press on for the map and it is showing us chests on the map. Oh, really? Oh. Speaking of maps, do we have a minimap? We don't have a minimap? Corpus Valencius. Oh, this is like a codex. This is our ship. Journal, character, inventory. Let's go to the journal. Theodore von Valencius is at the orrery. She must not be kept waiting. Dogmatic, heretical, iconoclasts. 
Puritan fanatic. I'm sure all of these mean something to you, but to me, not much. I like how all of the menus look, by the way. Let Aesthetically, they are, they are pleasing. How would you describe your knowledge on Lord of this Galaxy in for the first millennium? Um, it is between zero and nil. I I don't know much at all. I think it's about Warhammer lore. Is there money to be made? Tech priests. Not a fan of Warhammer. I feel like I will, I would enjoy I it if I knew about it. Open. But I, I've never played Warhammer games. Never really played the Warhammer tabletop. And. I never dared go into the lore because it's it's so big. There is too much to know. Is I I've just never been exposed to it. But I feel like it's something I would like. That is simply rational, Lady Theodora says. The man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension, his face half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political or economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. The tall grey-haired woman pins him with her gaze, her cybernetic eye flashing crimson. Then suggest an alternative that would satisfy me. I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion the Sixth Edeltron? Um survey the room. Your first impression of Adelthrad, who appears to be about 30 years old, is of parchment-like skin stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants and bone, the nervous twitching, twitching fingers, her face twisted by a slight tick, and the jerky movements are all signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his physical form. In stark contrast to Adelthrad, Theodora von Valencius, Valencius's features appear as if they were car carved from marble, eternal and indestructible, head raised eye, proud posture, and clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Adeltrad. Behind the two of them you see two more men. One is a grey-haired officer impeccable bearing who is studying the contents of his data slate. The other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all manner of weapons. Our second candidate has joined us. The dry female voice and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to, force you to look at Theodora. Rogue trader is looking straight at you, and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Mitral, approach and give me your answer. Your character skills reflect their knowledge and capabilities. Some dialogues automatically initiate passive skill tests. If such a test succeeds, new information will be revealed or a hidden dialogue option will unlock. Okay, nice. If your character is traveling with allies, the party member with the highest Next score in the applicable stream is on requested rejoice. I have secured us a Monday stream of Barbie Horse Adventures no. riding camp. Everyone who wants no to way. see it, give me a good old YAI. It's, it's not going to happen, Paisen. Choose another game. I'm not going to play Barbie Horse Adventures riding camp. <laughs> Shoot whatever you want, you know. <laughs> no, come on, I'm not going to play Barbie, stop. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> stop wagging, okay? I'm not playing Barbie. Not happening. Not happening. <laughs> not happening, okay? Ox, 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 ox. New extra Monday stream request. Oh, come on, Uncle what? Underscore Voga requested. You're gonna play it and you're gonna like it. Are you serious? Not one but two? Come on. You are not even going to watch when I play it. No, it's not an RPG, no. 
Is it an abandoned way? Okay, I, I guess I can play for an hour. New extra Ugh. Monday stream request at board game are you heaven crazy? Request what are <laughs> Barbie is going to be played. We have spoken. wait. Okay. Okay, but I'm not. I'm not doing three streams. It's one stream for the total of your three pickups. Okay, for your for the three redemptions, it will be one stream, one six-hour stream. Yeah, that that is a problem. Can I even acquire it for my PC? Like, is there a PC release that is free? Okay. Consider this type of What did you just do? Okay. <laughs> if you are not here watching, I don't know what I will do. 300,000 points for one Barbie game, yes. Well, I guess it's going to happen. I guess it's going to happen. But yeah, I, I have to find the game. I don't have to say yes. I do. I, I have to say yes. The 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 sure. mass is demanded. The mass is demanded, I have to. Consider this hypothetical situation, Ion 6. A new world on the fringes of the coroner's expanse, high seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic drug deposits, prospects for large scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say, but attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poison treasure? Wait, what? Blonde wig, pink outfit, make up the world. You want me to do cosplay, Barbie cosplay? I'm not, I'm not Bennett. Bennett's did the Barbie cosplay. No way, it's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Come on, Per, it's, it's, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. I know what you're referring to and it's definitely not the same thing. I've got 3,000, 300,000 points redeemed. You could cosplay as Ken now. I will, okay, I will cosplay as uh, Gordon Freeman, just like my Halloween costume. How about that? Those spirits could well be the native's name for dangerous <laughs> aliens. I, I hope you don't remember my Gordon Freeman costume and you say yes. I would first verify if that is indeed the case and if the population of Ion 6 engages in Xeno worship. Mm. There are ways to confirm whether what is happening on Ion 6 is witchcraft or not. It might cost several cycles to do so, but it will give us the answer. Let's go with warp. No, th there is there is no cosplay happening, okay? Theodora smirks. Thorough but presumptuous. It took me a great deal to find one psyker who could serve me well for many years. Yet you speak of several. The game is still on my wish list. Which game? Rogue Trader? I was given a promo release. Maybe it's it differs from yeah, I I will have to manually remove it. I, I can't remove it. Adult Rod looks at you with growth of a snake. Warmth of a snake. Sanctioned psychers are rare and valuable instruments of the Golden Throne. Or do you, Mitral, suggest that we use heretics who are an offense to the God Emperor's light? It would be rather careless of you to utter such profanity in the presence of his faithful servants. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was still more than you could do, Adult Rod. Barbie Hammer Party Gay. The color drains from Adult Rod's farce, which distorts his features further. Insolent, ignorant upstart. How dare you? Adult Rod? Theodora's tone renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me, then, why my senior congreg congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle backs. Commands the inspection of the compartments in his purview. 
Jonathan was planning on requesting Overlord once the refusal was clear, then what actually worked? Yeah. I mean, okay, I still haven't fully accepted. I have to see if I can find the game, if I can run the game. It has to have a PC release, it has to be abandonware or freeware. Otherwise, I'm not trying to buy it or anything. In the green darkness of the far future, there's only pink and sparkles, yes. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. El Trot both ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparking, sparing you another look. Chaos! Consume us! Theodora's gaze follows him as he leaves, then she turns to you. So, Mitral, why are you here? It has a PC release, you're pretty sure it's Okay, I will have to... I will have to find it. Was it not you who sent for me? Theodora scoffs. You have seen that the opening that was offered to you in a woeful display of meekness. Admittedly, this tendency is equally strong in all who toil in the Emperor's service. Immutable hierarchy, absolute obedience, victory, compulsion to please, I value none of these things. From the moment my envoys came for you, the terms of your existence changed. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo Afskaris. I'm a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights as the freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred Overlord. relic. Um, Overlord is not an RPG, to the best of my knowledge, so it cannot go into critical hits. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me and I will reevaluate. The warrant of trade kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and brought death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches and mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Mitral, are one of those with the one Valencia's blood in their veins and a rightful claim to the inheritance when the hour comes. A unit called an RPG, it has been an RPG elements. Technically speaking, with a dark British fantasy setting. I don't know. I, I don't think it fits critical lists. As for other streams, it's a possibility. One of, does this mean there are other heirs? Naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. Edelthrad may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of responsibilities, responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful, if not for the lore of Lord, Lord Captain, then for that of their closest ally. Theodora sighs and looks away pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Kunrad Voigt's weir served me for many years before he made his mistake. If you are satisfied with Edel Edeltrad, then what sense is there in having this conversation? Why are you wasting your time on me? Theodora shakes her head. Impatience. I am rather fond of impatient people. They are not they are not as quick to resign themselves to circumstance and more eager to show initiative. Even if I do choose Edeltrad as my successor, I will still require loyal advisors. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here in the Coronas expanse. You were once a lord captain yourself aboard your own ship. You know everything there is to know about the life of this gargantuan beast and its thousands of crew members. You know how fickle machine spirits can be, how weak willed are the rabble from the lower decks, how a single tactical decision can turn the tide of a battle. Few people can claim to have such priceless experience that is so highly sought after in my calling. Moreover, Theodora smiles slightly, 
Your courage has made you far more famous than you yourself probably realize. True feats of heroism will forever be won in the annals of the Imperium and bring honor to the one Valencia Valencia line. Enjoy your food, QP. Thanks for the work. Thanks for clarifying. May I ask my questions now? The vox affixed to Theodora's attire suddenly comes to life, but all you can hear is unintelligible noise. Theodora winces, shuts off the transmission, and gives you an imperious nod. I have some time before the navigator gives the signal to initiate the void ship's translation out of the warp, and my presence is required on the bridge. An incident took place on the officer's deck. Some servitors, servitors went berserk and attacked the crew. Is that so? Perhaps the Technomats were careless during the maintenance, or it could be the war playing tricks on us in spite of the gallery field. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed after all. Theodora laughs nonchalantly. The grey-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Theodora, for the god emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to st start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Sure, such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. She turns to you. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nukes, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak to specters dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against those who yet live. What are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in your new position. Eventually, I will find a post that suits you as I did for Edeltrad. Until that time comes, consider yourself my aid. Where is your ship head headed? The Rykat system, the domain of Rogue Trader Winterscale, one of my peers and rivals. Only three Rogue Traders exist in Coronas Expanse, New and each of them possesses resources comparable to mine. Hey drummer. New critical hits boost. Starving underscore drummer just boosted Baldur's Gate 3. New critical hits boost. Starving underscore drummer just boosted Fallout 3. New critical hits boost. Veru Mamo just boosted Kingmaker. New critical hits boost. I just searched for Veru. Veru just boosted Watcher. New critical hits boost. Veru Mamo just boosted RT. Thank you for the boosts, drummer. Veru. How is this game? We just started. It looks very beautiful. It looks very complex. Um, as the other all cat CRPGs. I'm enjoying it so far, but we are probably still at the very beginning, honestly. Yeah, they've been trying to convince me to stream Barbie Horse Adventures. Adventure. So that that was the important topic, not the game. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall add to Theodora's Vox Awakens once more. This time, you pick up shouting. Lord Captain freezes, listening to the Vox cast, then nods and draws her weapon. Disturbances reported on the adjacent deck, Seneschal. If the need arises, protect the new blood. She glances at you. It's possible that the chance to prove your worth may present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Not you too, come on. No cosplay. I'm not cosplaying. Okay? No wigs or pink dresses. Besides, black t shirts is all I have. You will beg for mercy, and I will grant none. I'll bleed you dry! All combatants act in turns, and their order is determined by Nish to order. Okay. Could cosplay as a horsey? No. Not happening. Start the battle. Reduced to dust. Horse mask is cheaper than dress. I'm not cosplaying. It's not going to happen. Oh, my ears are ringing. Factors with melee weapons block adjacent enemies are able to perform attack with running down. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Okay. How about... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay, I, I will give you this. This this is the most I will do. I'm not responsible or liable for any Barbie horse adventures related to stream disputes. It, it's my fault. Nobody's fault but mine. Let's hide here. It's as good as done. I'll make it happen. I performed 500 critical hits with my party members. Nice. Already, in my second fight, I performed 500 critical hits. Your character has just landed a critical hit that deals increased damage equal to the character's critical damage time. Okay. Yeah, the, the achievements are bugged, right? Can you give the game a shot tonight or tomorrow? Barbie game? I will I will download it one of these days and test it out. Just popping up one of the decisions. Oh So they are took care of this one. Um they are the progressions. Well I can I should be able to Just turn a it off. Minor setback. Never surround your allies in three star radius. On it. I mean, sure. My gut tells me it's about. Used to be in line idea. of sight. What is the shortcut for this one? It's one. Okay. I'll see to it personally. Ah, come on. Your character has just missed. I know. One fewer target. I took care of this one. We won, all thanks to me. Theodora waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take the team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse sun survive. Truck trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bet an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, hmm? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh realities of warp travel. She looks at the wax in her hands. All you can hear is lightly static. The incident with the rampaging servitors may be connected to what is transpiring now. Possibly, quite likely. Theodora winces and flicks the switch on her walks a few times. We will investigate at a later time. Right now, we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assert this, assess the situation. What are your orders? She breaks eye contact with you. Morte has gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the arch militant requires aid. And be quick about it. Find the arch militant. So let's see. Any loot? No loot. Let's check the map. Always keep your eye on the prize. Did, did, did he go this way? No. Left to clear the way to the lift leading to upper decks. Officer has not returned yet. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button.
could not wait for your less out of relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting's done. You could set your chrono by it. Conrad pointed the looks away from the Arch Militant to you. Mart, pull yourself together. The Arch Militant looks back at you. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? You're all done here, I'll report right away. Mort pulls his wax from the belt and hurriedly reports it on the situation. Master of Whispers, what's happening on my ship? The wax net is silent and the wax master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report. Enjoy your dinner, board game, everyone. Thanks so much for the lark. You knew what you were doing, skipping all those dialogues, knowing that Michelle will eat all of them two day later. <laughs> I have not yet received word from the eng Engineerium regarding any Geller field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago. And now they have ceased altogether. Bogu, by skipping all the dialogue, how long did it take you to finish the um, prologue? But communications were already unstable half an hour ago. Now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only box cast from the lower base are one way heretical gibberish. Works for pauses. That the madman have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps it's an organized mutiny. Fully voiced, yes. It took you 45 minutes flying through the dialogue. Okay. So it is pretty short. If you don't read the dialogue, there is not that much. No, it's good to know. Thank you very well. Uh, because you had, I think, before told me it took you 4 hours, right? The prologue took you about 4 hours when you properly played. And it took you 45 minutes flying through dialogue, so that's the difference it makes. About two hours for you. But well, on stream it makes sense, yeah. Prologue, you say about two hours with dialogue. Well, two to four hours. For most people. At least for those who have streamed it. You know, streaming is a distraction in itself from the game, so... I was more curious about what the content is actually like without all those distractions, you know, the dialogues, the streaming parts. If you if you focused on the gameplay without reading anything, it would take you less than an hour. That was verbal reading everything with voices including text that pops up when you're done faster, all the flavors. Okay, I see, yeah. We must provide immediate assistance to those still on the middle decks. Perhaps then we might stop this wave from spreading. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and navigator sanctum are secure, and I have the means to do both things at once. Her expression changes as her eyes flash ominously. Theodora looks at Voigtsphere. Edelfad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blasted, Master of Whispers, find Edeltrad, Edeltrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas, Tlas, Tias, not Tlas. Locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle, both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant with me. I must go to my study, and it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Mitral? Theodore glanced at you thoughtfully. If I may, Lord Captain. Worked with his voice is soft and cautious. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edelfrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly com confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed Arch Militant, and taking into consideration Edelfrad's psycho powers. Till ass, quas. Then it's settled, Mitral. Find Edelfrad and bring him here, in whatever state you find him. This elevator, she points at the massive doors, leads to the restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? I shall do everything in my power. Theodora hisses in fury. 
Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Mort, come. First she says she doesn't like ass licking. Then she says you will do everything I say. Not, not to the best of your ability. Okay. Voidfair gives you a nod. I read to head to 18. It's a long walk and you do not even have proper gear. I shall make two. Lead the way. Of course you will. He rummages in his pocket for something. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs. But that is no longer relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen and you are consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. Wow, okay. I promised you a special destiny mitral. It's time to fulfill it. So I kind of thought he might be involved when he came at the end of the fight, just just now at the start of that dialogue. But I didn't think that was likely. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. She has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber, and for that, I need her breathing. Oh, you are back with us, I see. Delightful. Works for you two face scum. You are the one behind this mayhem. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies the relic that gives Theodora all of her power the sacred Warren of Trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the Sentinel. What is it, Inbred? Is your blood too thin for Sentinel? See? I told you she was a Ventru. And the others are thin blooded. On the contrary, the Warp's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is for? What sort of pathetic excuse do you even have for your apostasy, you sordid, wretched piece of grog shit? Wretched? What do you know about wretchedness? Theodorus Kerr! Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. Humanity can rot. I no longer serve mortal kind. Something, either your tone or the venomous words, throws Conrad off for a moment as hateful fury blazes from beneath the mask of a cold professional. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wrench Von Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish this righteous act. Voidfer hesitates for a second, then produces a strange weapon, a blade without a handle that shimmers blue in the light. One of the available dialogue options requires making a skill test. Okay. Oh, willpower check. Is it a willpower check? The blade flashes in the dim light and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous, your head is spinning, and then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sources, voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a singular urge. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Get out! I'm not your puppet! The voices in your head giggle and mock your desperate outcry. 
You feel this intruding influence forcing you onto your feet and making you take a step forward the gates looming in the center of the chamber. I will go to the gate. I will draw my blood. In the gateway arch you see a cogitator. Cogitator? Cogitator? Probably cogitator. Coming from cog, right? With a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach, the torso switches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton, created from a lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns his head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with two ember-like irises. It comes from cognition. Oh, maybe. Examine the device. You carefully inspect the design of the gate co cogitator. What immediately catches your eye is the strange alloy that was used as material for the machine's components, some of which are unfamiliar to you. You suspect this might be some kind of Archaeotech relic. An incredibly rare and powerful piece of technology from humanity's ancient past. The servitor on the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward closer to you. Its lower jaw opens with a drawn out shriek, much wider than the jaw of the living human could. The servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the dim light. The width screen to the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. A whisper runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head after works were wounded you with this blade did not go away. On the contrary, their source called itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Latin cogita cogitare, cogite, cogitare, means to think, consider, imagine. Look for anything that could be used as a weapon. You look around in hopes of finding at least something that could work as a weapon, your search is in vain. The chamber anteroom room is completely empty and in perfect working condition, nary a broken panel or a protruding piece of rear bar inside. Hey Vincino, am I playing Terran Protoss or Zerg? <laughs> I guess I'm playing as Terran. How are you Vincino, good to see you. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore I am, maybe. Yo, well. Good to hear that. I'm playing as a horsey. Look back. Did you forget something? I suggest you hurry. Examine the sense now. The servitor looks noticeably different from the ones you are used to. Its skin covering is stitched together with copper thread and it has metal hinges in place of the standard joints. It seems that the creators of the Sentinel did everything to ensure that the service of this life that the service life of this unit would be much longer than that of ordinary automatons. There's actually a word cogitate pronounced cogitate. Ah, okay. Place your hand in the Sentinel's maw. The Sentinel's jaws clamp around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops drops fall into the servitor's throat and immediately you hear humming as the servo motors start up and the pumps start in motion. The width screen of the cogitator flickers. So, I guess this is then cogitator, not cogitator. If the cogitate, the British word, is pronounced cogitate, then it should be cogitator. Cogitate, yeah. Several long minutes pass, Sentinel's jaw remain closed and you are beginning to feel sick. Perhaps if you were taken if you were to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath. Maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever ha High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You do not understand where this quiet voice is coming from, crackling like static. Is it the Sentinel? The Cogitator? Is the figment of your weary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Yes, yes, I do require assistance. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It would seem the entity coiled in your subconsciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Yes, are we controlling the ship?
Wow. There is still another way. He cast minor globe of invulnerability. Battle cruiser operational. Kunat for being master of whispers, you only messed up that one. Let did, us yeah. not dawdle. Let it be known that by will and by the true words of this document, I appoint this person to be the bearer of the warrant of trade, and uh, to be the paragon of humanity, unbroken by adversity, to walk bravely first into dark, to triumph over the nightmares untold, to hold both the reins of fate, to walk steadily to the of thought, through the pain to greatness. For the Emperor! Escort the child of the house to safety. I need to contact someone, preferably Theodora. Voxcast frequencies disrupted. Oh, Initiating Emperor! setup. Establishing connection. <laughs> Emperor is faster than human, yeah. In place of the mechanical screeching, the server skulls, Vox projects the voice of Theodora von Valencius, distorted and ridden with static yet still recognizable beyond the doubt. Vox Master, restore communication with the Navigator's Sanctum. I am trying to contact the bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and head... Communication protocols breached. Signal latency assessment unavailable. No, I'm Unable not Unable to that. establish two-way connection. What madness, is, what madness is happening here? Who are you? Who addresses me? Temporary obnubilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel standing by. Are you the Warren Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warren Sentinel designed as a personal escort of the child of the house and a means of communicating with the rogue trader's subjects. Mobile unit standing by. <laughs> I need a weapon. I'm utterly defenseless. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. The server's skull goes silent. It's really clicking. Seconds after, second after second passes, and you realize that the server's skull will not answer you. Middle and upper decks. Assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units. Calculating. To prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber. Preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. Did anyone tell you what servitors are or how they are made? No, it was not explained yet. Not in game. I think they are made by uh, tech priests, right? It was? I mean, they are made from. He said it. I think they are turned from humans as punishments, at least that was suggested in one of the flavor lines at some point, but I don't know the, the detailed process. <laughs> as the game story unfolds, you will see notifications at the top of the screen, screen indicating that the status of your current objective has been updated and that new information has been added to your journal. You can open the journal by pressing J or clicking left mouse button on the OK. Journal entries, blah blah, I know what the journal is. When you examine the servitor, it said that they are made from lobotomized people. Oh, okay, I, I must have read it and completely forgotten about it, as I usually do. Imperium of Man really hates AI, abominable intelligence, and most of them are made from lab grown clones. Some of them are made from prisoners. Okay. Are tech priests the Apple computer gurus? <laughs> Possibly. Keep your wits about you. So I have this thing with me now. Let's see. No one must reach the warrant. A simple order to send a cogitator will lock the chamber. <laughs> All the bird sounds. Mistress? What? Whatever are you doing in the warrant chamber? How did you... Throne, preserve me! What is the meaning Ooh, of this? What do we have here? Nice. 
Seneschal Abelard Versarion has lost some of his former polish. His forehead is sweating, and one of his one of the sleepless of his sleeves of his coat is torn and soaked through with blood. Nonetheless, despite his heavy breathing, he stands firm and his gaze is demanding, albeit somewhat surprised. He surveys the carnage around him, his brow furrows, and he places a hand on his weapon. Kunrad Wojtwer is a traitor. When we parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. They installed with implants that would control their brain, brain itself is flushed of all memories and free will with drugs. Like computers, however, process must be repeated as brains will try to assert control, okay? They must be flashed clear of any memories regularly. Okay. So they are uh, organic brains and hence subject to warp madness. That is why they suspected it might be warp madness at first. As if they were real people. They are not actually... I mean, they are actually real humans, but... Under 100% control, ideally. Like Lobotomize just said. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you, Ikits and Vera. What? The Seneschal's eyes widen. He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something, and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of that plan. Oh, Holy God Emperor. Oh, Holy God Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. And, Mistress, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain. Witchcraft, heresy, Theodora. and mutation! Abelard clutches his forehead. He looks lost for the briefest of moments, but then quickly finds his resolve again. Wait for openly admitted that he is the mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints' blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. <sighs> At least you are alive and now safe, mistress. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. You're in a bad way. Oh, I can sniper treat rifles. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self defense. Here. He ends your weapon. While fighting, your character can lose some of the wounds. Blah, blah. I don't need to read that. Once the combat is over, the wounds of all party members are replenished automatically, but any injuries they may have sustained remain. So it is like uh, pillars. Those can be healed with a medkit. You have gotten new items. I love it. I love this. We start with a sniper. This is all I would want. Honestly, everything else is a bonus. We start with a sniper. That is a good indication that this game I'm going to enjoy. Look so, no let's further. see who you are. Sort of like in Dragon Age Origins as well, yeah. Pretty much. You are right. That's a better example. You start with one. You, I start with one, you didn't. Uh, probably because of my class, right? Chainsaw. So this is a melee character. Let's see. Are you a soldier? Warrior. Charge and endure. And in the enduring, grow strong. Until the warrior's next turn, all incoming damage is reduced by toughness bonus. Warrior gains toughness bonus, temporary wounds. Okay. Um... I just love animals. <laughs> I have forgotten that existed from Lamplight City.
Oh. I too love butts. The rabbits, it should be an alias. Hmm, interesting. I too love butts. I know. I know. I too love, love butts. butts. Okay. There we go again. You butt lovers. I too love butts. You really miss Nikon from Planescape. You may have to play that again soon. It's a great game. Also has oh okay so he he originated really from the navy bunnies. as well. bunnies. They're so nice. All oh, right, it wasn't rabbits. It's bunnies, right? I will lead us to fortune. I always have a backup plan. So where are we going? Abduction has taken its toll on the air. Senator Lablard, where Syrian has offered medical assistance, accepting it would be a wise choice. I accept it. I like food. Enjoy your food, Draven. Thank you so much for the lark. I won't stand for it. Hold on to your butts. Sometimes you can the too. appropriate treaties on tactics. I'll make sure to return the favor one. That is a noticeable improvement. Now we're all prepared for the trials ahead. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. But that is the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered voxcasts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the navigator and the master helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the wall and into real space. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the navigator's sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. What exactly has gone wrong with the translation? I am no helmsman. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, Navigator. However, I have spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Geller field has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. How did you find me? You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? Abelard tilts his head and looks at you with worry. I think the Warren Sentinel may have sent that message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warren Sentinel? He looks at the servo skull floating next to you. The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then... Why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? He frowns. I heard one of Theodora's Vox casts. Lady Theodora's. Which one? The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. The Navigator's Sanctum, very well. Will you lead the way? For the Imperium and Humanity, lead the way, Sanchal. Cut. Avalard nods his approval. A wave of static suddenly, suddenly erupts from the servo skull, and you can make out Theodora's words through the noise. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor! Fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home. And with all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle. Which means the Vox Networks are set up for broadcast transmission. 
not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward. Seneschal's eyes light up and he smiles with grim determination. The Emperor is with us. Crush him! Combat begins the tactical phase, okay. So why don't I New critical hits boost. Parrotwise just boosted betrayal in Anthra. Why don't I boost some games? Exactly, that was great timing. New critical hits boost. Parrotwise just boosted Grim Dawn. New critical hits boost. Genomen just boosted D3. New critical hits must. Parrotwise just boosted Diablo 3. Oh, and New critical yeah. hits boost. Vinci Nomen just boosted Chrono Trigger. New critical wow. hits boost. Vinci Nomen just boosted Darkstone. Lots of the other three boosts. Look at Diablo 3 climbing the, the ranks. Same amount of boosts. Total priority as Witcher. You know, just under Mass Effect 2. Thanks for the boost, Vincino Parrot. And I, um... One, two, three. Let's put you here. We'll see if it's maybe we do something like this instead. Or even more extreme. No, this is good enough. Brace yourself, Abelard. Your new companion is a warrior. Abelard specializes in melee combat, driving the enemy's attacks. Charges a unique warrior ability. Okay. Cleave. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have a good cleave position at the moment, unless I move here. Could be worth, could be worth. But I cannot go there, never mind. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Just three? Yeah, the three. Characters with melee weapons can make an attack of opportunity if an opponent in an adjacent cell initiates movement. Did I attack? Did I miss? I'm not interested. Um, okay. That's not the Seneschal's job. Someone else can do this. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to cancel. Why is this selected? Okay, right click has canceled. It can be used against guys at corners to each other. Just attack the space they are both adjacent to. It's, it's not a straight line of three like this. Can it be a corner? Okay, I didn't know that. It, it wasn't very clear. I guess. I'll try next time. How did you manage to hit that guy? Wow, this is some serious XCOM style missing. Combat abilities of characters differ depending on the archetype. archetype. Abil abilities are located at the bottom right of the screen. That I shot. Single shots. So 
So what is that I shot doing? Same damage, same penetration, costs more action points. Same hit chance, same max distance. Besides the aim shot with 50% bonus to effect to range. 10% hit chance. Who, if not me? You never stood a chance. Enjoy your food, Thaisen. Thanks for the lark. It's as good as done. I'll see to it personally. I will do my refused to dust. Wasn't it supposed to hit all three? I guess maybe I missed. Is there a log? Is there a combat log? I can't look at Salma. Three lines above the end turn button. Oh. Parry, they parried, okay. Indeed. Mm. So I I probably shouldn't be in this red range, like, have no one in my melee range. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Another enemy down! Eat bolt gun! I'll make it happen. This is what I wanted to see. There we go. Who if not me? You never stood a chance. You can advance the level of your character and companions. Nice, we leveled up. I think. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so. This is something we have to do, I'm guessing. We don't choose one of these. What am I choosing? At this archetype rank, it's possible to increase character skills. The higher the skill score, the higher it will be to pass corresponding skill tests. What are these thumbs up? Is it uh, recommended or main skills for the class because I don't think it's main skills for the class it makes the character's rational arguments more convincing allows you to not send logical inconsistencies you can ignore them but what what does it mean Doesn't explain anywhere what it means. It encompasses subconscious ability to react to things that the conscious mind may not pursue. Awareness allows the character to notice traps, cleverly hidden objects, secret passages, unusual or conspicuous elements in the environment. There are skills that you already have from other backgrounds and such. Okay, maybe. That makes sense. I am torn between logic and awareness. My logic is 30, awareness is 45. Let's go with logic. 
Specialization is key in all cat games. Okay. Okay, makes sense. But for now, we will go with logic. I think awareness makes a lot of sense as well. I feel like third logic is a bit low. Let's put it to 40. Complete. This is all we do? Okay. New ranks available. Wait. Caruse, Athletics, Coercion, Demolition, Medicaid. It, rep it represents the character's ability to traverse difficult terrain. Deep over collapse sections of the deck. This makes sense for this character. Resist negative effects applied by some poison, stimulators, alcohol. So how useful is your companion's dialogue affecting skills? Like this Caruse may give access to new dialogue options, but this is not the protagonist, right? This is not the main character. Does it still give me uh, dialogue options? with my companions? Should I try to spread different social skills or skills among all the party? Not played long enough to be sure. If you ever get, find an answer to that, Viru, feel free to let me know whenever, you know, not necessarily today. If you find an answer in, in two weeks, still let me know. Thank you. It's a good thing to know for planning for when I actually play the game. Let's go with athletics for now. New ranks available, rank 2. I don't know what that means. Oh, I have to complete. Hey Claiborne, they'll step in to make those, these roles for those roles for you if you're more if they are more skilled. Okay. That's good to know. Thank you, Claiborne. Thank you. How are you today? Good to see you. Also, what archetype are you playing? What uh, background and archetype? Claiborne in your playthrough. I think that's all. That's all the leveling. Ooh, loot. Defeat the enemies have no further need for their of their former belongings. You can discover. Okay. I know what loot is. Let's collect all. Swords. Swords for everyone. That's so many swords. Oh, this is so great. We have looted all the close by enemies. You went with the faces of class background combos. Let's so, get looting! Let's get looting indeed. We have a last pistol. Pistol burst. There's a burst. You're lovely. Just woke up. You're an officer. Can I Biomancer. help you? Permission to backseat. Hey, Viriax. You're backseat away. How are you, Yuri? It's good to see you. Welcome. Commoners. So how do I, I choose both mistakes. of my characters? I make okay, profitable learning chooses. experiences. It's my position. Wow. Zone map. Control A chooses all. Okay, good to know, Bogo. Thank you. Did you know in the green darkness of the third, for the first millennium, there is only war? I didn't know that. Thank you, Yuri. That's good to know. <laughs> it's a map of the void ship. Consists of several parts. My void ship? Since when is, this, is it my void ship? I guess we are going here. Did you try this game out, Virax? Did you play it? I always keep my options open. The navigator sector is directly along the passageway. My great. Not played this yet. And so she will enter the halls of the Blinded Guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. The woman before you whips around and gazes straight at you, her eyes glowing with otherworldly lights. Mistress, watch your head! Idira, 
would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! The woman bursts into guttural drunken laughter. This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falensis. Abelard looks her up and down. Idira? <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. The entity in your consciousness shrinks and crawls in deeper, its claws scraping against the walls of your mind, as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Do you Sometimes hear the voices too? They grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. Idira nods, yet her gaze is directed somewhere away from you. And you. You are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. Idira turns her head to you, her vacant eyes flaring like embers. New Ambers. critical hits boost. Hey, JFC. Fuller just boosted. I hear the voices. They say Witcher one. They <laughs> say Witcher one. How are you, JFC? Good to see you. Do the voices say something else? Or do they just say which one? <laughs> we can come back. If the voices have other boosts. New critical oh. hits boost. JFC okay. Fuller just boosted ass effect 2. Witchcraft, heresy, and mutation! Voices love butts as well, apparently. I will wait for a third one. New critical hits boost. JFC Fuller just boosted Divinity Divine and Yay. I'm guessing that's Divine Divinity, not Divinity Original Sin. Thank you for the boosts. Good to see you. You hear a few clicks from the relays on the servo skull, which has followed you all the way here, and Theodora's scrambled words give way to a voice vaguely familiar to you. Officer's frequency, to all who can hear me, those with a weapon in their hands are, are to gather on the officer's stacks at once. I repeat, gather on the officer's stack at once and prepare to launch a counter attack. That's Edelthrad! Oh, Emperor's Providence! The other air lives as well! Quickly! We must head to... Not so fast, old man! If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us! If Edelthrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it! You're right! First, we need to deal with what is happening here. How do you know who I am? What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> I have seen you. I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. What wounds? The serious words bring back, bring back a wave of memories of the bitter, humiliating moments of your greatest shame. Something sour rushes to your tongue, and your head is clouded with a sickening sense of your own worthlessness. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. Shame. The ones I could make out among all Shame. the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the Engineerium, but it was too late. Shame. I heard the cry of our master call, Shame. and the <laughs> silence that followed. Close enough. Close enough. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Zed. 
without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <laughs> <clears throat> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or Let at death's Galaxy door, burn. but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. Idira freezes, then she slaps her cheeks, rubs her face and looks at you. The supernatural glow is gone from her eyes and the smirk spreads across her lips. Idira has joined your party, which now consists of several characters, three to be precise. Select one character. Okay. May humanity flourish. <laughs> hey Cat Mask, welcome in. Rise to the top. Or that was a get fitting. Left in the dust. Um what advice fine? do you seek? How are you, Cat Mask? So I guess we are going that way. Maybe not. Hurry, destroy this field. Don't keep our master waiting. Always keep your eye on the prize. Close ranks. I will take you down. Roller, Sharpshooter, Psyker... I can snipe the Psyker. I don't know what Idira does, I didn't even look, but that's fine. I start there. Um, what is my sniper range? I should have checked. <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Katnas. Baking some Christmas goodies now. What are you baking? You can use the hologram to gauge the effect on the certain intended actions in combat before taking them. If you say so. Um on it. Oh, my ears are ringing. Uh, just a minor setback. Either is a psyker and an operator. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify their weaknesses. And her psychic abilities allow her to deal damage to them. Okay. Not going to read all of it. We have forewarning. Increases target's dodge and parry. Until end of combat. Yes. Was was that you? Or deals damage to targets. Analyzes. Then we also have attacks. So we should be able to use this and this. We'll do. If I was to, oh maybe it does count as an attack. Hmm. I don't know. I'm. I wouldn't know. So, okay. 
It does actually deal damage to... Okay. Uh, let's try this. Um... Let's use this for the next time. Beck and call. I will do my duty. I took care of this one. This. Why did this scroll down automatically? Okay, it it didn't it didn't attack the the cleave didn't attack the sharpshooter. So it wasn't a corner. It looked like a corner. All creatures within the area of effect within a one cell's radius. I I don't get it. I'd rather not. Target is too close, of course. Oh well. But he, he was in range, though. Thirty-eight percent. What does this mean? No percentage. Does it mean impossible? I guess it means impossible. I am ready for whatever comes. Be gone. So let's see if I can charge. At your back and call. One clear target. Yes. I don't have to have a clear line of sight just access, you know, open path. The creature in the chair appears as if it has become one with the throne. You see pink parchment-like skin stretched between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being. The navigator is breathing heavily, and they are whistling as it exits through the dark gill like slits on its cheeks. The creature's eyes are shut, the two ordinary eyes, as well as the third one, that sits in the center of its forehead. I believe Master Vespiada still lives. Abelard flinches at the sight of the stretched skin and dark marks on the face of the creature. The servants are dead, but the chamber, thank the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. Address Idira. What is wrong with him? Idira winces, wounded, exhausted, fighting back the endless horrors of the warp that are forcing their way into his head. Pick one. The navigator stirs, barely able to lift his head and half open his normal eyes. A dark drop rolls from under the closed lid of the third eye and down his face, leading behind a black trail. Your time is short. The voice is coming from the walk squirrel at the base of the bizarre chair. It's unclear how the navigator is able to produce human speech. Are you alright? Our time is short to do what? Suddenly, the navigator's body starts thrashing in place. It lurches forward, then falls back onto the seat, then thrusts forward again as its bones crack and its skin tears open. However, the fusion between the body and the chair appears to be stronger than these wild impetuses. The mutant remains seated, but leans as far forward as he can, his layered raiment slowly turning crimson. The gills slits burst open, forming two hideous, screaming mouth like this. Fall to your knees, mortals, and behold the final dawn. Idira shrieks in terror. It came from beyond. His body is not his. Idira's scream is echoed by the silent cries in your head. The unseen creature triumphs at the sight of the navigator succumbing to the paroxysm of corruption. Its march thunders under the burden of hopes. Unseal your hearts and I will flood your souls with myriads of words and meanings, each one a portent of salvation within me. The navigator continues to call Moss violently in his seat, shrieking and cackling, but then his fit stops abruptly. His face is drenched in black and crimson, and dark grease from under his third eyelid has turned from its trickle into a stream mixed with blood coming out of his nose, and there is purpose swelling around the eye. 
run, flee from this place while I still have strength. The words come out of the rocks as a labor dragon. I can contain the intrusion, but not for long. We must begin the translation, leave the warp, but it can't be done without the Master Houndsman's help. The navigator is still alive but barely so. What do we do now? The Seneschal gazes at the figure in the chair. The ship can only begin the translation with the assistance of the Master Helmsman. If he's still alive, it's worth a try. We must get to the bridge, but we will need support. Our only option is to fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edeltrad and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. She must have heard the call to arms that Servus Skull relayed to us earlier. Idira reaches her hand out towards the navigator and but pulls it back at the last moment. Despiadas, good luck, and thank you. The navigator does not give her a response. Black tears mixed with blood are streaming from under the closed eyelids, and the vox at the base of the chair is bellowing our static interspersed with distant echoes of otherworldly laughter. This is not um, scrolling automatically for some reason. You love this scene, it's a good scene, although I don't understand it fully. This is the same thing we have. Let's compare this axe. Chainsword is better. Scrappy auto gun. How may I serve the dynasty? In combat, the character may need to use different kinds of weapons, which can be prepared in advance. All oh, right, that's a good idea. We could... We could put the autogun here, in case someone gets close to us, right? Welcome back, Daisy. Enjoy your food. Is there money to be made? Luck door. I know how to take risks. So can, what can we do with the luck door? Can we do something with the walk skull? I will lead us to fortune. Can we talk to the walk skull? No. I always have a backup plan. Piece of pipe left a noticeable dent in the floor. Did I miss something here, maybe? Keep your wits about you. My options open. Let's try talking to him again. Navigator appears dead. Only the slight movement of his chest and the twitching of his eyelids let you know that he's still clinging to life. Navigator Sanctum. Always keep your eye on the prize. Officer's deck. How do I open this door? Is there money to be okay. made? Let's try to go the other way. This is what I had to do. The, the door is locked, so I had to use the world map to go there. I don't I don't get it. Was I missing something there? Did I miss something obvious there? The game seems well made, it is definitely well made. Yeah. Your ship's as good as ours. 
It's all over it may be the prologue, but it is only combat and dialogue so far. Like there was no exploring or anything. I shall pity not your enemies. It should I probably open up after the prologue. Please. Somebody shoot these back. I shall betray not your tenets, nor stray one step from them. What Just is this? Not your gaze from me. Leave me not without your grace. I told you he would protect us. My God. My light. My emperor. Is this a space marine or something like that? A new day. Hey Thor. And nothing has changed. You were considering picking this up? If it's good, you are just gonna be lurking so no spoilers. So how is it? It's very good. It's very good, but it is very combat heavy. Uh, in my experience so far, this is just a prologue. Uh, I haven't seen much Born of the game yet. Here. I've been reading a lot of dialogue. You know, it's been reading dialogue and four or five bat uh, battles so far. But I, it's really well made, that's for sure. How are you, Thor? Good to see you. 40k is most combat, I guess, yeah. You're happily playing No Man's Sky, all those sounds of gunfire just scared the shit out of you. I'm sorry, GFC. I'm sorry. Just stick around for maybe the prologue. Yeah, we won't play more than the prologue today. Uh, this game is on critical hits. I will cont I will wait to play the full game until um, it's chosen, basically. But we are doing the prologue. You may still get a little bit of spoilers, but prologue is between two to four hours. That's that's all you may get. The also, um, fire shall vanish the endless winter. There's a good chance I'm going to have a giveaway for uh, for a game key. Uh, in a few days, if I manage to finish the prologue today, I should be able to get an extra key. Uh, and we will have a giveaway. Maybe you will win, Thor, if you join. I'll let everyone know when when that happens. Once you get the combos and stuff done, combat becomes a bit breezier. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure that's the case. Sister Argenta! Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. We require well. all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? The young woman called Argenta lowers her weapon and scans your small party with an intense gaze. Then she sets her sights on you. Mittal von Valencius, Lord Captain's heir. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. Combo the faces of friends no. who are twisted by sneers of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the arch enemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the Dark Forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know, why are you here? Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation, so I suggest we all do just that. I'm not traitor, sister. You can be sure of that. If you speak truthfully, the Emperor will not forsake you. If you are lying, you will not escape his retribution. I cannot wait to rain New righteous fire boost. down upon See, each and every heretic. Rogue traitor. Let's go. Enjoy your food, Vincina. Thank you so much for the lurk. Thank you for the boost also, Claymore. What is a warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas doing aboard a rogue trader's ship? Your orders of the Ecclesiarchy. Ecclesiarchy, do they not? So, sis Adept Sisterhood, Adeptus Sororitas. Sisterhood of the Adepts, something like that. Ecclesiarchy. I don't know what that means. Who are these? Let's go with that. Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Under more appropriate circumstances. 
Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. Sisters of battle. Sisters of battle. Okay. The hierarchy. Government ruled by or in conjunction with the religion. Church state. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. We must get to main hall of the deck. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. Argenta not set the passage to your right. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. <laughs> oh, I wish oh, we yeah, had I'm a right. map with us. But we'll see what we can do without one. So our... Are all of the Space Marines males and all of the Adeptas Sororitas, I mean, it does say Sisters of Battle, so I assume they are all females. But I didn't know all the Space Marines were males. They are? Okay, that's, that's weird. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. Oh, she's in the party now. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Unfading val valor. The Argenta. So what exactly are you? You're a soldier. Operative. Warrior. We have two operatives, one warrior, one soldier. Run and gun. Soldier gains plus 4 MP. Their next attack costs minus 1 AP less. See, when you say minus 1 AP less, that's double negative. It means it costs 1 more AP. So, that's wrong. And does not count towards the attack limit per turn. Oh, you can attack twice. They are genetically made warriors with some DNA from the Emperor. Oh, really? Wow. Until the end of next turn, the soldier becomes winded. While winded, the soldier suffers... Minus one penalty to ballistic skill and cannot use run and gun. I like this. Space Marines are not fully human. Okay. Furious Recital grants momentum equal to six. This ability also grants an additional 3 momentum for each enemy that is either in 5 cell radius around Sisters of Battle, Sister of Battle or was it by her this turn. Origin Talents. I guess we could choose Sister of Battle if we had chosen Soldier. If we were a male soldier, could we have chosen Space Marine? Maybe. Ooh, dogmatic. Already third level dogmatic. You don't think so? Oh no, heretical. This is not going to work well. Level two dogmatic here, level two heretical here. Conoclasts. They're juicing. Space Marines can't be heirs of anything, okay. I always have a backup plan. Tox Dispenser Module. Well maintained sniper rifle. Ooh. You received a new, more efficient weapon for your character. I know. I know, game. Switch it out. Even in death, I still serve. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Your trophies were packed as cargo.
I, I guess there is some actual trading in the game. Cargo is for storing loot that is not valuable enough for a mighty rogue trader. Drag piece of loot to remove it from your loot screen. It will be packed into a suitable cargo space. You might withdraw loot from cargo at any time. Selling full cargo to merchants improves your reputation with your faction. However, all loot inside that cargo will be lost. I... Okay, so these are not good enough to be used. They are only good enough to be sold. I, I actually like how they set up the junk in a separate pane. And we can also put stuff here. You know what? This is great. This is so good. I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is full though. Oh, another cargo of melee weaponry opened up. Trading in Rock Trader. <laughs> Alcat has much better to UI than most modern CRPGs. Yeah, this looks very good. Certainly very good. I mean, Pillars of Eternity had a completely separate junk section also, but this makes more sense. I guess this can make more sense because we have a ship and it has a cargo, New uh, cargo section boost. to put all this. Hey, just boosted the Shining Force has joined the Holy God Emperor. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That, that's, a, that's a twist on the classic. <laughs> How are you, Melando? Good to see you. He spoke to you that Larian didn't pinch elements of his UI for BG3 rather than think they went with. Yeah, it's it's really surprising that they managed to make an inventory that most people don't like. They should have learned from all the good inventory designs of the uh, of the most modern RPGs. Well, not F12. F12 is quick saving new inventory nice too, Mitra. Door will not move an inch. Back home, you can finally watch these undisturbed. I always keep my options Welcome open. Welcome back. Good to have you, as always. You were on a holiday, right? Okay, on a trip, vacation, something. I'm not sure. So, can, is there a way to surprise them in a way? Ski trip in Italy for a week. Sounds very nice. Your doom has been foretold. I'll turn you into corpse starch. So we don't start. This one starts, then this one, then this one. So it makes more sense if I put you here. And put you here. Um Where is Idira here? Oh, Idira is before Argenta, okay. Let let's let's put Idira here. And you here, I guess. I don't know. Let, let's just start to see how it... This is not a great start. Full and partial covers give you the opportunity to avoid enemy attacks. Assailants... Cutthroat. Can we analyze you and kill you? I'll yes. see to it personally. Your end was inevitable. We like being able to choose starting combat. Many times in BGG combat would trigger, and the AI would have chosen just the worst part of the square. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense if you are able to get a surprise, get an ambush on the party. It's almost like heroes, like with the leadership skill, you could place your troops where you want. No spice runs in this. You must initiate any combat on your terms. Let's. I, 
I wish there was a... Um, what was that called? I, I forgot the term from XCOM, where if you could attack after a mo enemy mood, like if the enemy showed himself... Overwatch. I think it was called Overwatch. You would shoot when you could, basically. Yeah, that, that would be very good. I wonder if there is that in this game. Ogre Watch, yes. Argenta is the warrior of the Adapter Sororitas and a soldier. Sure. No ready detection. I don't think it's... I don't think it's available in this game. So I will auto... I, maybe... Maybe I will run and gun. No, I won't run and gun. I cannot seem to kill any. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. This is this is bursts. Hmm. Let's read this properly. Burst fire. Would I be able to kill anyone with this single attack? No. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's doom. Even torture to fight like this. That one must have dodged. I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't hit this one. Hey, Sidvenir, welcome. Good to see you. See that type of stuff really bugs you about these modern RPGs. They can do all sorts of amazing in-depth story and features. They can implement basic mechanics like radiant actions or delay. I mean, it, it may have been by choice not to turn this into more of a strategic uh, combat game than it already is. I don't know. You have a point. I, when I play a game like this, I try to find functionality like that because I've come to expect it from similar games. Maybe not RPGs, but from games like XCOM, right? They have delayed actions in both of the other games. It's not like they neglect, but they, they choose not to implement it, but I think they should implement it. They should have. Let's, let's pass this on. I can kill this already, so... Let's analyze. Let's analyze this one. Kill this one. That's also true. Who knows what's on higher levels? Healing in combat. Why would I want to heal in combat? I haven't taken. An oh wait. Oh, did I hurt my own character? I think I did. Pretty badly as well. Not sure how that happened. So I can heal myself. But why would I? Right? Instead of healing myself. I can charge and kill someone. I'm not interested. No suitable path. Someone else can do this. I like food. Enjoy your food, Vera. Achuta. What? What are we? What are we achieving? What am I missing? Move and then charge. Yeah, I think I will I will have to do that. I cannot charge from where I am. We check Bogus message. You get injured debuff. Yeah, yeah. I saw that. I saw that, but it's okay. Let's not heal. Let's see how we can fare without healing. Um So I have six. This is four. Wait. 
Wait. Maybe I should charge this way. Let's. One, two, three. I, I might be able to charge from here. Wait, I don't have to guess. I can do this hologram thing, right? My place is at the fall. I took care of this one. And this doesn't really... Oh. Maybe I should have... healed. Oh, careful. I'm right in the open now. Not cool, not cool. I can kill this one. Thirty eight percent, sixty two. These are 90. If I analyze this... Another enemy down! Okay, now it's time to use the run and gun. If I run here... I can shoot him and him, but I wouldn't kill either. Alternatively, I can shoot him twice. Wait, let's cancel. If I run here, if I use this, oh, I cannot target both. Can I target both of them? I think this targets both of them, but low chance, 35%. Maybe I go here, Guided I shoot him twice. Face. You can with pistols and shotguns. You can shoot in melee range. Faith without deeds is worthless. Okay, we missed. That's fine. But of course. Be gone. No can do. Ah. Uh. Oh, well. Anything else? Can you help pull auto pistols shotties? I think you have auto pistols. I'm not sure about shotguns. On it. You shouldn't play this now because you are a <laughs> sign. I'm I'm not playing it. For real, we are just doing the prologue. So I won't play it after today until it's selected in criticals. How are you, Sang? Good to see you. Um, eight ton damage, eight ton damage. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. So I don't fully understand this. When I target someone with an That's attack, it shows me like a portion of his hit points, right? Like 80% or so usually. And I think that I won't be able to kill the enemy with one shot, but I always end up killing them. So clearly there is some randomness. Do I always get lucky? Or is there some other thing that I'm missing? 
You fucked up today? What did you do, Simon? <laughs> you can have a shot here. There's a full auto one. Oh, okay. I critted. Oh, did I just crit? Okay. It's range plus crit. Okay. The game is nominated, yes. It has been boosted, I don't know, four times or so. You know, when you don't sleep or only sleep very little, it gets hard to keep track of what day it is. It, I, I've never gotten that bad, I guess I should say. With regards to sleeplessness. New critical hits boost. Amelandial just boosted Maverick Merchant. <laughs> Maverick Merchant. Maverick Merchant, let's go. You thought today was Sunday? Now I'm some sleeping pills. Didn't wake up to 1445. Was there something important today that you missed? 38 persons, 62. I think I will have to take the chance. Alternatively. Oh, there is one more here. You never stood a chance. It's as good as done. Pants come first, yes. It was Monday, you had several appointments. Oh, sorry to hear that, Sangnef. So I think she is winded now. Argenta is winded. How dare you refuse? Hmm. Can I shoot this one? Doubt is for the weak. New critical hits mus. Thor obliterator just musted molars of Eternimutu. Mo fire. Eternimutu. Killers. New critical hits must. Thor obliterator just musted moment. Moose of Momenmo. Yeah, pretty sure nobody died. You're well rested from it. Yeah. Moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo. Thor Obliterator just moo. boosted Moo Run. Remo. <laughs> Thanks for the boost, Thor. Well, at least you're well rested. Good to hear that, Sangnef. Hopefully, you can make new appointments and not miss anything very important. So they are pretty far away. I'm probably not close enough. Wait, what is this? Psychic Shriek. Not this Grier's drop. One creature within 12 cell radius. Yeah, pretty far away from everything. I'll just rush ahead and maybe... Pour one They who discern the future on the battlefield. Ooh, lots of important things that you missed. Will do. Um, how much can I charge? Six cell line. So if I'm here, follow my lead. No, 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 no. Well, that's fine. Reduced to dust. Victory is imminent. <sighs> Brace yourself, Avalon. You made happen. a mistake, my man. Oh, Mitral. How dare you miss? Who, if not me? Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Veil degradation changed by minus five to zero. You are starting a new job. What job are you starting? 
This could be an opportunity. Welcome back, Ray. Good to see you again. Open a gem door, click on the icon. The character with the highest tech use will make the skill test. If this test fails, the door will remain closed. Particularly bad result of a tech use test can cause the door to become permanently stuck and impossible to open. Nice! More saves coming for us. Are we losing frames? Yes, I am dropping frames. I am dropping frames, it seems kind of bad. Hmm. Let's see. Let's lower the bitrate. Is, is the quality too bad? Let me know if you... If the quality is too bad, or if you are still seeing dropped frames, but it seems stable at the moment, for the most part. But I had to drop the bandwidth. So, I'm sorry about that, but there, there's not much I can do about the issue. Seems okay to you for now, okay. Alright, just, just keep, keep me updated. Turns out there is no technical reason why this project can't get accredited as an actual Smith education we are applying for accreditation. Oh, your old business partner has decided to open a small workshop for troubled youths on the way into very bad decisions where they can come learn metal working, earn some money, find some peers to hang with. You'll be in charge of it. Do you have room for me? I can join as well. Logic 95. I always get the job done. Her character is about to make a tech use skill test. 100 sided die. Each skill test has a difficulty for up to 100, including negative values. You must roll a value less than the sum of both the stated difficulty and the value of the skill used for the tests. For example, you are attempting a test with a difficulty of minus 10. Your character's tech use skill is 40. Okay. Way to make backwards rules <laughs> reminds you of Taco. Why, why do you do it like that? Why Why is the difficulty of minus 10? Why is, the difficulty, why is it not a difficulty of 10? Oh, I don't know. You must roll 30 or less. What a weird way to set this whole thing up. It could have been much easier. Like... Like, make the difficulty... If you want the person to roll 30 or less, which means about 70 or more, make it the difficulty of 110. If your tech skill use of 40, you roll a 100-sided die, you add your tech skill use to it, if you roll 70, you will hit 110 and succeed, right? Why not make it like this? Why is it so backwards? I don't understand these systems. Take us flawless immaculate. Okay. You can't roll more than 95. The difficulty is calculated from greater to lower values. The greater the difficulty value, the easier it's to pass the test. It's easier to succeed on difficulty 40. Okay, I get it, I get it. I don't, I don't understand. It's a roll under system material. The value of your stat is the most you can roll with a hundred sided die and still succeed. Value of your stat is the most you can roll with a hundred sided die and still succeed. I'm sure there is some sort of um, advantage to the system, but I'm I'm unable to figure that right now.
Multi-key. Machine right sets. Where does the Mitchell came from? We have this command. Now, say my name. Mitchell. There we go. That's where it comes from. Keep your wits about you. I don't even remember when I made it. For every 10 points you roll under your stat, the more successes you get, okay? Tech use. Let us not dawdle. Didn't I just open this door? Oh, I, I opened this door. Roll over, roll under. Neither seems particularly hard to grasp. If you roll over, under is best. One is worse. If you roll under, one is best. Under is. No, I'm not saying it's difficult. It's. I'm not saying it's difficult to grasp. I just don't see the advantage over the, the simpler and intuitive system. Like it. It's. It just sounds backwards to me. We have a multi key, melt a charge. So multi-key does not change my tech use success chance. What does it change? Let's see, what is multi-key? Universal lock picking tool provides an additional opportunity to open a lock. Ah, okay. If we jam the lock, then we can. By the end of the stream, it is going to have 100 skin shots of... Yeah, I keep pressing F12. I'm so used to pressing it. Um, from Neuromintern Nights 2. Multi-key should auto it, okay. Let's try without it. Just as I planned. Restore the power supply. Sure. That's how it's done. I don't know, it said uh seventy percent with the multi-key as well. Oh, we have a machine right set for this check. Success is the only outcome I accept. Can I change the? I cannot. I can get close, but I cannot change the. What is what is this called? The angle. I cannot change the angle. I'm always at like forty-five degrees. Just as I planned. Shotgun. We found a shotgun. Operator's gloves. Melt a charge, machine right sets, multi keys. I'm not interested. I didn't ask for your opinion, okay? So, um. Auto pistol. I guess I. What is this? Last pistol. Pitch? What do you mean? Oh, pitch? May maybe it's called pitch. My biggest gripe with this game is the lack of fixed perspective. I'm happy with being able to move the camera around. Shotguns knock enemies back. One shot at the effective range. Let's give you the shotgun. Um, where's the cargo menu? B. It's B. Always keep your eye on the prize.
<laughs> okay, we can blow it up. I guess we have to blow it up. I, I could use tech use skill before. Now I can only blow it up. Duty prevails. I always have a backup plan. Oh, we are back here. Your tech use skill changes, you should be able to reattack. But I didn't fail. It, it just disappeared. I didn't try, I didn't fail. Attention to oh, I leveled up. Is the key to success. Expose weakness. The operative removes all exploits from target to decrease the target's dodge, parry, and armor by 10 plus exploit stacks times perception bonus. Percent. Okay, complete. Endure. Until the warrior's next turn, all incoming damage is reduced by toughness something. Extreme steam photography. <laughs> I keep screenshotting it, yes. <laughs> you actually don't like the lab system, not out of choice. It looks like that. I, I was thinking it could op open up. Maybe, but it doesn't look like so. There are some available talents, common talents, skills, stats. I mean, it's good. It's simple. It's fast. It's good in that way. Maybe not as much choice as Dungeons and Dragons, that's for sure. Well, Dungeons and Dragons, third edition mostly. It's okay. I always keep my options open. Yeah, come on! F5, not. <laughs> that's, that's also true, baby. The roar of the flames rings in your ears, and the choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil from the scorching heat, wiping your face. A moment later, a hazy silhouette warms in the raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by ear-splitting noise and screaming, yet you distinctly hear the sound of the footsteps. And then you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. It's Theodora von Valencius. Theodora. Ah, she looks different. Her expression is calm. Terrifyingly so for someone whose body is engulfed in an inferno. Inferno. One of her hands is resting on the hilt of her power sword, the other raised in an inviting gesture. Are you lost, my heir? Argenta goes as still as a statue, then slowly raises her weapon. An apparition. A sorceress apparition. Trickery of the warp. Sister, you will lower your weapon. Despite his commanding tone, Abelard does not sound too confident. He's staring at the rogue trader, and you notice a muscle in his cheek twitching. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous. This is impossible. I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible, Mitral, for your worldview views, but an iota of what the rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell that you would like me to share that knowledge with you, that power over reality. Theodora watches you without blinking. Her snake-like gaze almost makes you forget about the fires hearing you, leaving burns on your skin. I can lead you out of these flames, Mitral, show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Your mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. The entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. And the dancer can be nothing other than acceptance. Do not listen to this abomination, Mitral. If you, there is not but his light in your heart. Consumers! And if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protects. His faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises, nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. To the void with you, we need to follow Lady Theodora before we suffocate in this furnace. The people. 
Abelard looks back at the coughing and confused people around you. Mitral, the survivors from the middle decks. You must help the crew, lead them out, find a way around. Over the roaring flames, you hear distant sounds, frightened voices, screams, muffled and distorted, as if there were a body of water between you and them. Then we'll miss our chance to meet up with Ed. Edira breaks off and starts coughing violently, her knees buckle, and she looks like she's about to fall. Mitral, what are we waiting for? Sometimes your character will have to make tough decisions based on their values, interests and goals. Such decisions affect their convictions. This can develop in three directions, dogmatic, iconoclast, heretical. This is the choice you've been waiting for. Welcome back, Gavin. You don't follow much Warhammer 40 It sounds like Raven action <laughs> it was heavily inspired by this faction. Kind of, right? Okay, that's a very long message. Each includes five ranks. The higher the rank, the more zealously the character follows their convictions and the more not sip with the world around them. Promotion through these ranks, each of the three directions opens up, access new dialogue lines, events, unique abilities. I guess all of these characters represent one. Um, at the layer, it represents iconic class or iconic lasts. The, um, the nun sister represents um, dog, dogmatic, and Idira represents. Um, Heresy, heretical. When one of your com conviction branches reaches rank 3, watery, it becomes the character's main focus. When that happens, the other two convictions branches cannot be raised above rank adherence. Walk through the fire, the Emperor will guide the righteous on their path. Heretical, accept the offer of help. Take my pain away and give me power. Conoclast, get the people off the bridge. I will not leave my people in harm's way. So. For, for a real main playthrough, like if I was playing this as part of Critical Hits, I would probably go with Iconoclast. Iconoclast. We can try something different for now. One thing I would never choose is dogmatic. So let's go with dogmatic for the Emperor. Let's go with for the Emperor for this prologue playthrough. Fall through the fire. The Emperor will guide the righteous on their path. Thousands of needles pierce your consciousness but are powerless to stop you. You take a step forward and the illusion breaks. A wave of excruciating pain crashes over you and Theodora's voice fades into the firestorm. You hear the voices of your companions calling you from behind and the screams of the weak dying in the inescapable blaze. The blinding inferno, the harrowing pyre, the all-consuming storm releases you as you step out, barely able to stay on your feet. The blood is pounding in your ears, drowning out the world around you. Your eyes, caked in soot and burned eyelashes, refuse to open. Free from the flames, you take two more steps before collapsing to your knees. Why would you never choose it? The God Emperor is literally on his throne. You can go see him. It's not like he's being dogmatic about an invisible God. That's fine. I still would, would go with other, other choices. The rush of blood in your temples and the horrible pain all over your body, scorched body cloud your mind before suddenly retreating as if driven away by some mighty will. A new strength spreads throughout your veins Witchcraft, and despite the wounds, and mutation. your body is once more ready for trials and struggle. You open your eyes and see a glow with warm light before you, the Aquila, the sacred symbol of the Imperium. In the next moment you are struck with another realization. The repulsive presence, the one that has plagued your mind since Voigtweer wounded you, is gone. The fire seems to have burned the entity away without a trace. Spending a lot from the atheism just to end up being a god. Is that what happens to... Um, what happens to the god emperor? Kind of class subversive category is like modern US liberal dialogue choices. 
Mistress Mitral. Can you hear me? Oh, Mistress Mitral. Oh, you're alive. Which is more than I was expecting after what you just did. A familiar voice cuts through the din and the pounding. Seneschal Abelard Versarion is leaning over you, peering into your face with a look of worry. He notices your gaze and breathes a sigh of relief. Praise the Emperor! We passed we are... through the flames! Oh, how can this be anything but a portent? For so it is said that the Emperor will bless the worthiest and most steadfast in their faith. Behind Argenta, you see Idira at last doubled over in a fit of nausea. The rest of the people who were following you have withered away in the fire that continues to rage mere two steps away from you. The Emperor protects, Seneschal. Indeed he does. Huh. If I hadn't seen it myself, I never would have believed. Your tone renders Abelard motionless, then he quickly makes the holy sign of the Aquila himself. What happened to Lady Theodora? Did she follow us? Idira wipes her mouth and rasps. There was no Theodora, witch. There was witch. an illusion, a temptation, a foul taint that tried to lead us astray. But she perceived its true nature. This is much more boring than the other two. Honestly, I like that kind of story. Helping the common folk. I would have gone with that. Is that right, Adepta Sanctimonious? What, we'll just pretend like we didn't see the Lord Captain standing there in the fire? Abelard, you tell her! Whatever it was, it matters no longer. Ugh, your conduct is bordering on madness, or holiness. A path opened behind you, where one moment there was fire, the next only smoldering embers remain. But what am I saying? My eyes must have deceived me. Too much smoke for my lungs. <laughs> See, I am the Truly. exception, which means Would you have that is more interesting like than these, what you always. There had been no fire. The wounds are merely a sign of a trial laudably past. It is something to be proud of, the same as decorations or badges of honor. Argenta herself sounds proud, even fervent. Rise and stand tall. No element holds power over the righteous. Even if you were anticipating another wave of pain, it does not come. Your muscles feel strong and your limbs obey you without fail. And yet, deep inside, somewhere next to your heart and stomach, you feel a certain tension akin to that of a taut string. You are at your limits. Be it adrenaline or the strength of your fate, it will not carry you much farther. Little Trout von Valencia stares at you without trying to hide his astonishment and trepidation. Mitral, do my eyes deceive me? I could swear that I just witnessed you step out of a pillar of fire with the rest following in your wake. I hear it's here to join forces with you and the others. It's time to push the heretics back. <laughs> Emperor's, Emperor's Gord? Okay. Indeed, it is Mitral. Idletrad makes the sign of the Aquila and gives you another look, this time one of concern. Your wounds. Lore, warp, look close at Idletrad. Idletrad does not seem to have changed since you first met, but only at first glance. His face has taken a strange hue. The skin at his temples appears scaled and his voice now has an uncanny screeching quality. These are not traces of fatigue and stress. The Cyclist body has begun to mutate, a consequence of contact with the world. You are not in the best shape yourself, Eagle Trap. Psyche grins back at you. Notice the signs of my blessing, have you, Mitral? Yes, Warp is taking its soul. But I'm still sane and unable to hold my weapon. I'll fight for the von Valencia's bloodline to the end, and if the price is the eternal curse of mutation, so be it. My faith will keep me upright with a weapon in my hand, that is all that matters. Idletrad holds up his hands in a placating gesture. Pray, forgive my insistence, I shall not be the one to doubt the fate of she who has passed the trial by fire. I have gathered everyone who answered the Vox call and was able to hold the weapon, yet I do not see the Lord Captain or her Archmilitant in our midst. 
We are still receiving messages in our voice, but she's not responding to direct requests. I last saw Lady Theodora on the observation platform. When did you and she part ways? I was at this very elevator, Master Idiltrad, the Lord Captain accompanied by the Arch Militant, headed to our chambers to retrieve an item of particular import. After that, all we heard from her were Vox broadcasts. This is troubling, and the timing is inopportunate. I'm still receiving fragmentary reports from the bridge. Conrad Voigtweer was spotted there, and even what scant intelligence on his activities I have reminds me of descriptions of sources rituals. If that traitor is resorted to witchcraft, we must stop him at once. I shall go to Theodora's chambers to find her. Little Thread nods. A reasonable approach. Take your escort with you. You may be waylaid. Once you have found the Lord Captain, you must beg her to go to the bridge and lead the counterattack. The rock trader's appearance is sure to fill the defenders' hearts with hope, however frightened or exhausted they may be. Until the next meet me, trial. May the Emperor bless your deeds. I shall see you on the field of battle. Hidothrat salutes you with his weapon and turns to his routine. Retinue. It's not routine, it's retinue, right? The generation hums softly. When you draw closer, your skin begins to tingle and... Is there money to be fresh. made? Over there! Saving game is impossible. Lord Captain's quarters. What do we have here? Plasma Condis plays with energy capable of powering a vast void ship. What did we loot? Lex Mechanics Goggles. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. For Gork and Mark! <laughs> Reach the secret lift, find Theodora upon Phalansis. Keep your wits about you. Oh. Well, it was nice knowing her. Always keep your eye on the prize. Requires dogmatic follower, helmet of the devoted protector. This helmet grants is very immune to enemy criticalists for the first three rounds of combat. So we give it to her. We have found an item that can only be equipped by characters of a certain conviction rank. Yes. Ooh. Fellowship. If he had a officer. Theodora's Rosary. Plus one to commerce and lore imperium. We have an injury, by the way. Your seneschal is always there for you. This wound will make a fine scar. I won't forget this. Let us not dawdle. Where did we see Theodora? I 
I, I, I got turned around. Keep my options I, I'm open. not sure where we entered from. I'm not sure where we saw. The parlor, or parlor organ seems to have been sitting idle for many years. Oh, this is okay. This is it. The Empress Roman, that's all. Yeah, really? Theodora von Valencia's body is sprawled on the large, blood drenched desk. The Arch Milton's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is slumped against one of the Balkats. Emperor, accept thy faithful souls. The sister of battle surveys the scene, her gaze lingering on the Arch Milton's body. No! Wow. I. Lord Captain, I didn't hear. Didn't hear a thing. Not a whisper, not a breath. It was. It was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? Idira's heart's rending scream shakes the walls. She collapses to her knees, her body shuddering as she weeps. <laughs> Lord Captain, who would even dare? Unless that rat, Voidfear. I doubt it. Wait for your wish, humiliation and suffering upon Theodora, not a swift death. It could have happened in the heat of battle. Not to mention that Mort was here, and he would have protected Lady Theodora to the last. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can look at things in my own way. If you find something, something that might bear the imprint of the killer, just give it to me, and I'll try to see what secrets it holds. Examine Theodora's body. You lean closer to your body, the cause of death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot, an extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise, the last emotion she experienced in life. Something on the floor catches your eye, eye. a heap of blood spattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. As you lean down for a closer look, you notice something else, small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Inspect the paper. Idira, what do these shots tell you? I see streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Conrad and what is that? Ah! Something dark. Enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul, that's for sure. Tainted witchcraft. You cannot tell if Argenta's remark is directed at the glass shards or Idira herself. Inspect the shards by the desk. It's difficult to say what exactly was broken. The object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they had been submerged in Promethean. Inspect the papers. Reports, accounts, dispatches. You go over the scrolls until you stumble upon a document that is strictly different from the rest. It's a handwritten letter signed with the initials XC and a seal with a symbol that is vaguely familiar to you. Handwritten letter with a seal. Hey Woozy! How are you Woozy? How was your Monday? Good to see you. And sends a shiver down your spine, the author of this letter addressed to Theodora von Valencius signed it with the seal of one of the holy orders of the Emperor's Inquisition, the secret police of the Imperium that relentlessly hunts heretics, xenos and other enemies of humanity. Idira, would you try touching Theodora? You might be able to see the killer through her eyes. Money is going well so far, you it just woke up not too long like ago. That. You're on I can your try holiday, to read right? The you and Trick are on your Holiday. But dead bodies are Enjoying a different life. story. Something like that would require her soul. And after what we saw on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching Holiday for time. it in a warp. Examine the Archmilton's body.
An auto pistol shot went straight through Mort's forehead, spraying the floor and the furniture around with blood, brain matter and shards of his skull. The safety on the arch militant's weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. We had best be on our This own. group yes. shows the crucible of exception. Calls to me once Does more. it though? Does it? No, wait! We must see if we can find anything. Idira, you can't bring her back. Let her go. You'd give up so easily, old man? I expected as much from the sister. It's not like she has a heart. But you? <laughs> oh no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain. And when I do, that scum will regret the day they were born. I always have a backup Shikuri. plan. I guess we couldn't find anything. Idira wasn't happy with that. Okay, Vera. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your game. Is there money to be made? Um. Where's the exit? I'm confused. Is, uh... Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Beware the eye of the witch. Show them yes, no mercy! Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. <laughs> uh. Put you here. Put you here. This is not great. I mean, I guess... I can do something like this. Oh, I cannot. Armor protects the character from incoming damage. Light and medium armor types are both available to you at the moment. Okay. I should be able to charge and leave. Maybe. Does this how it works? This attack does not count towards the limit of warriors' attacks per turn. One fewer target. Oh, I cannot move though after that. I, I spent my movements. That sucked. Game looks awesome. It's it's been awesome. Really enjoying it. Let's it go with endure and brace for impact. Why not? No, we will use it next time. I thought I could move after using this. But charge uses your movement also, apparently. I didn't realize that. I thought it was extra movement. Oh well. So we can expose weakness. On it. 
I'll make it happen. Shouldn't be called charge if it doesn't charge him. <laughs> You will encounter enemies with various abilities and features. An icon next to an enemy's portrait indicates that they are under the influence of some kind of effect. Heavily damaged permanent, exposed weakness. Oh, this is a lot of information when you right click on the enemy. Part machine. They all have permanent exploits, Source Mitral. At the start of each turn, the operative inflicts one stack of exploit effect on all enemies in the operative's line of sight. I didn't know that. Oh, Ooh, I love this. Let's try. Each strike is a prayer. I can run and gun and attack once more. I think it's worth. Oh, did I make a mistake? No, I didn't. 45%. Do I dare go out in the open? Forty-five percent. If I go here, it's still forty-five. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Okay, Idira. Um. We can expose. But of course. Analyze. No, if I analyze, I won't be able to use this. I cannot analyze. I could analyze. I guess. Anything else? And double up dodges. Very cool. It couldn't have gone better, honestly. At your beck and oh, an exemplary strike. Expose. It's as good as done. Your end was inevitable. Nice. As the Emperor commands, I act. None can escape the Emperor's justice. We didn't even take damage. That was awesome. You can gain a better understanding of what transpired in combat by checking combat away ahead of you. We figured that out. Thanks to the chat. Hmm, dismantling attack. This is the only thing, right? I don't have any choice. Choose talent. Are we still getting frame drops? I'm not dropping anymore, I think. I am in control. Shodan. Ooh. Okay, there's a lot here. These are like feats, right? 
And I can get stats also. I can get skills. Nothing you can say or do can make me betray the Republic. Sharpshooter. If your operative has not moved this turn, they gain plus robust skill. Plus int bonus divided by two damage for every five cells between them and the target. Wow, I like this. Sniper expertise requires perfect spot. What is perfect spot? There's perfect timing. So what is Feature's perfect spot? Perfect spot, additionally ground. Maybe we are going to get it later. I'm not sure what feature is, but it's not here. So our intelligence is 30. Fifteen damage per five cells. Let's go with sharpshooter. I like sharpshooter. Like There's a features panel on the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I guess we gain it at some level automatically. Expanding attack sure. Daring Breach, where it immediately restores all AP and MP and gains Agility Bonus MP until the end of turn. They don't lose MP after performing attacks. Where it has no limit on melee weapon attacks, this- what? Okay. So we can just go cut them all down? Okay. Oh, it's- was it the bonus? Or the stat itself. So was it 3 divided by 2 rather than 30 divided by 2? One damage is 3 divided by 2 rounded down. Oh, that's terrible. I need at least 40 intelligence then. Okay. Well, that's not that good then. <laughs> not as good as I thought it was, but that's fine. This is the learning run. Yes, swords, extra sword attacks, yeah. Thick skin, one damage deflection. The engagements. If there are no enemies adjacent to the warrior at the start of the turn, the warrior's damage is increased by two times strength bonus. Okay. Impetus. I like charge, but I cannot always use it. Ramming speed. Increases charge distance by th three cells. You always get run down. Abelard is such a tanky boy. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm going to build him towards. He seems to be already working towards that. So we could go for thick skin, you know. Easy buff. But we could go for some interesting stuff as well. I don't know, there are lots of choices, and I don't know any of them, and I don't want to read all of them. So the game recommends these five to me, puts them at the top. Warrior deals an additional three damage to enemies that have no allies in adjacent cells. I don't like that one. If the warrior has less than 50% wounds, they gain toughness, agility, critical hit chance. Don't like stuff like that. Whenever an enemy attacks the warrior, the warrior's next melee attack against that enemy deals an additional five damage. Does not stack; it can be reactivated after another attack. Okay. 
Not bad. Whenever the warrior is attacked, they gain one stack of epicenter of slaughter. At the start of their turn, warrior gains one temporary wound for its stack. These temporary wounds cannot exceed warriors five. What is five? What is warriors five? Let's go with thick skin. I don't know, so I will go with these one. In your own Abelard is a powerhouse, you are scared of what's going to happen if you ever have to replace him. Well, hopefully you won't. Operative gains dismantling attack. Immediately inflicts one exploit on all enemies. That makes a free attack against the target. That attack always hits. That is so crazy. Very strong. I wonder how we use it. Expose weakness cost zero. Uh, oh, whenever an operative hits an enemy that is affected by both an exploit and exposed weakness, that enemy loses 3 MP and their M damage is reduced by 20%. That's bad. Fatebringer. Allies under the effect of at least one psychic power gain an additional plus five plus two times psychic side rating. Armor penetration. At the, beginning of, at the beginning of every combat, the Psyker's allies gain 15% critical chance. The first critical it removes this effect. I kind of like that. I like that for my main, clearly. Mental Breach. So much, there's so much. This is the first time we are choosing one of these and I'm presented with like 50 of them. Let, let's go with, with the passive crit bonus for all the other characters. Daka, Daka, more Daka. Reloading. Oh, there was reloading in this game? After the soldier deals damage to three different enemies, the soldier gains 10 plus 2 times bullshit bonus. What is BS bonus? Ballistic skill bonus. More damage for your next attack. Camaraderie. Bridge adjacent ally, soldier deals more damage. Soldier gains agility bonus critical chance. Whenever soldier deals damage, they're critically damaged. Is there something that makes her more likely to hit? Oh! Enemies damaged by soldiers area attacks suffer 1 plus ballistics bonus divided by 2 damage from their next attack that hits them. Possibly this could be a thing. While at full wounds, soldier has 10 ballistic skill and 2 MP. All of soldier's air attacks gain armor penetration and ignore deflection when used against enemies in a 3 cell radius around the soldier. That's too close. The first hit of each burst attack deals additional damage equal to the weapon's current rate of fire. Not a huge fan of these.
You could go for this for longer fights, could be useful. We use burst, so we can usually d deal damage to two different enemies early on. Let's go with that. Muzzle velocity would be great on this sub. <laughs> Maybe next time. Grace of the Oblivious, the wear against five toughness if their intelligence is less than thirty-five. Esteemed Theodora, a change in circumstances has demanded your immediate assistance in our mutual cause. Forthwith, upon receiving this letter and performing the necessary preparations of the crew, we are to depart for the Rikad Rick system. One of my agents, interrogator Heinrichs van Kalox, operates there at the present time. Upon your arrival in the system, you will, without delay, make contact with him and offer an assistance required of you, after which you will provide him passage to the Feribundus system aboard your ship. On footfall, the interrogator will remove himself from your presence to await further instructions. Um. Anticipating any questions you may have, I will stress that the nature of interrogator Fun Kalox's activities on Rykad Minoris is of no concern to you. If required, Van Kalox himself will disclose the details of his mission. May the Emperor's Light be with you. XC. Um, so you have 30, you have 30, up, oh. always keep your eye on the prize. Okay. Which bridge? I, I, I guess we are going to the end, end game now, end of the prologue. Oop. Taking more screenshots. I want to save, not screenshots. Keep your wits about you. The first sacrifice opens oh. the eye. The second sacrifice draws its gaze. Little Shroud looks somewhat harrowed, but is still in one piece. He glances at you, then over your shoulder, clearly alarmed. Mitral, you are here, but where is the Lord Captain? Theodora von Valencius is dead. I found her and the Archmilitant in her study. Little Shroud's eyes widen. God Emperor preserve us, the rock trader is dead. The ship has lost her has lost her Lord Captain, and the house its head. Little Shroud shudders and grabs his shoulder. As you watch, the sleeve of his jacket bursts open and two bone girls pierce through the fabric. No matter what Richel Conrad is performing there, the warp is too strong. I cannot withstand it. I feel my body changing with every second, the warp ringing in the air. This is the end. We will perish in the warp, along with the warrants and all the dynasty's heirs. The enemy of humanity has triumphed. Idira looks anxiously at Edeltrad, then she glances back at you. I've seen it before. We'd, we'd, get, we'd better get away from him. The changes are already accelerating. I forbid you the very thought of yielding. Only by resigning to your fate will you truly suffer defeats. Words worthy of a rush soul. Save the love of the worst for later, will ya? The navigator is ready to take the ship out of war if he gets some help from the bridge. Little Trot stares at you, and his eyes harden with cold resolve once more. Then we have no right to bow our hats. You see Kunrad worked very clearly in the gloom of the bridge. The broken blade he is holding is stained with dark drops that seem to have a pearlescent glimmer to them. We are out of time, Edeltrad bites his knuckle, desperately thinking. You see a wave ripple across the whites of Edeltrad's eyes and they begin to turn a sickly yellow. Mm.
To the party, read your weapons. If we are to die this day, let us die with honor. Um. Draw your weapon. Works for you, duplicious car. Du dupli duplicious, du duplicious, duplicious. I don't know. I don't know how to read that one. Duplicious. Duplicious, I guess. Duplicious car. Last one, which is the last one. Drug trader's death will be arranged. What? Theodora is dead? Victor stares at you in seeming the genuine bewilderment. No, that can't be. Not now. I still haven't. Little Trot lowers his head, then he sighs and locks eyes with you. His gaze cold, haughty, and fanatical. The ritual will not be completed. I'll take care of it. And you, see to it that the virtue breaks free from the warp. Watch over our realm and farewell. Duplic duplicitous. Duducitous. Duplicitous. Okay, duplicitous. Idle Thread, don't! Your ritual won't be finished, heretic! Too late. You were too slow. You are still too slow. Don't you dare to cross us! Oh! To use the unique abilities called Heroic Axe or Desperate Measures, momentum is required. Depending on the actions of your party in combat, the momentum are will increase or decrease. Remind you of Tokian Squeeze Scar trying to save food libraries. I don't know what that is. The high momentum value allows the character to use a Heroic Axe. Low value grants access to Desperate Measures. Both abilities can completely change the course of a battle. But every part member can either use one or the other and only once in a single combat. Hastily frame, can you remodel your model <laughs> very well? <laughs> How are you, Hastily Good to see you. Okay, um. Uh... Okay. How are you sleeping? How is your Monday? Maybe I will kill this one first. You will encounter enemies with various abilities and features. An icon next to an enemy's portrait in the case they are under the influence of some... Didn't you already say this to me before? Is my principles. The operative immediately inflicts one exploit on all enemies in combat that makes a free attack against the target. But attack always hits. Until the end of combat. Okay, let's use this. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Your gut is telling you wrong. I refuse. I won't stand for it. Okay. I won't compromise my principles. What do you mean? What is this? What is the condition that it's in? That's not allowing us to do anything. I don't understand. Oh, wait, do I use it on myself or something like that? 
My gut tells me it's How a bad do I use idea. This? I choose a target, but I cannot. Am I really blocked? So if I was to move here, let's say, I could then use it. But I cannot use it from here. Can I use it from here? I can. Accept your lot. No, but I thought I, I should be able to use it from here, right? I can use it from here, but not from here. That's what confused me. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. On it. Expose weakness. Was that you? Or analyze. This rain on the adjacent tile, maybe. I don't want the Dero to be here. Um, if I moved her here, would I still be able to use it? No. Okay, so we, we really cannot use anything from there. I, I don't like this location at all. If I move her here... No... Maybe I'll just move her... Right here. What is this foreboding? Oh... It ate the corpses. Maybe I shouldn't... Uh, I shouldn't have killed them, it seems. Okay. I'll do it. Run and gun, right? So we make two attacks. If you don't kill them, it'll leave the man regen. But I, I killed them and then it ate them and regen and moved. I killed them and that's what happened. Faith without deeds is worthless. It ate one down the stairs. Oh, oh, maybe, yeah, you are right. It was my mistake. I'll do it. You two are right. Okay, yeah. It just happened so quickly, I thought. Oh, my ears are ringing. Ow. What is this? Get up, you fool. Dude, get up. What are you doing there? It's as good as done. I'll make it happen. I guess... I'll see to it. Personally. I can kill them with the deer. Just a minor setback. I'll revert to more conservative okay. tactics. Okay, poor Abelard. I guess. It was good knowing him. Can I fall back now? On it.
If I move, I cannot move anyway. Nothing. Um. Rejoice yeah. in battle. The healing is much appreciated. I cannot attack after using an item. That is not the Emperor's will. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Dude. On it. Oh, right. I cannot attack in melee. Right. I forgot about that room. Who if not? Unless I have. Shotgun or pistol, right? I'll see to it personally. I forgot. <coughs> so can I move it right away? Call to me. If I move, it will attack me, and I will probably die. I, I will try. I will probably die, but I will try. Wait, let's... How do I cancel that? Um, how do I cancel this? I don't want to accidentally walk. Can I right-click to cancel this? Well, let's let's look. Okay, I can right click to cancel. We'll do. But of course. Maybe I just attack in melee. What? Was that you? Escape does not. I escape opens the menu. I keep pressing that and it doesn't help. <coughs> Careful, Um three movement points. I can use running gun attack twice. I should survive. Doubt is for the weak. My faith shields me. No, come on, don't fall down. Brace yourself, Abelard. Have a lot can play. Look at that. Endure. I will do my duty. Someone else can do this. I am too close. Place for impact. Do I attack or do I heal? I think I heal. Let me help. Blessed be the hand of the healer. I can heal and attack? No. Tried and tested yes. the best. They really shouldn't be here. A mere pain won't stop me. I'll make it happen. It's as good as done. Oh, it uh, is now. Once the character has suffered a certain number of injuries, these injuries are replaced with a trauma. Make use of medkits in time to treat injuries to avoid characters suffering traumas. Yeah, I tried. I tried. So let's let's try again. Guided by faith. They are stuck here. Yeah. 
At your back and call. I have to attack. Didn't flinch. On it. I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. So I had to kill all of them first, even without attacking the chaos spawn. That was the strategy to use. We cannot move, so we are going to have to attack with this auto pistol. I should have sent Abelard towards there and picked off the adds one by one with the others. That would have been a better strategy. I'll see but we are winning anyway. A painful win. On it. Oh, I need to reload. No. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't even check. Okay. Well, we are learning. Pistol burst, let's try the burst. If I use run and gun, As the Emperor commands, I, act. I can attack once more. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. No. My ears are ringing. At your back and forth. It will be done. That was not a good win. Still a win. Let's not waste time with the game. GG. GG's. Choose characteristic. Hmm. Well, yeah, I need. I need 40 intelligence for for that to make more sense, right? And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Is there a sniper expert? <laughs> Guess not. Chain weapon expert, chain weapon attacks. Killing mastery, parry. Home twins, combat master. No. Laser weapons. What is nimble? Bonus to dodge. Solid projectile weapon attacks. Is sniper weapon a solid projectile weapon? I guess it uses bullets, right? It should be solid projectile. Out number. If I world cut is melee superior take okay. All range weapons dealing physical damage have plus one damage, five percent armor penetration, one rate of fire, minus five to recoil. I like that. If I world character starts to turn adjacent to an ally character, I don't care about this for this character. Let's go with this one. There's more than one type of sniper. I meant to ask the sniper I had. I... I wasn't clear enough. Let's check. Well-maintained sniper rifle.
I don't understand where that is. Yeah. There are sniper rifles of various types. Yeah. As you know from Pillars Play 2, Mitchell can choose to specialize in certain weapons until the end of the game. That was a fluke. I usually cannot choose even at the end of the game. Solid is the type. Uh, oh, solid. Okay, solid. Yeah. Um, okay. So it is a solid weapon. It's a solid weapon. Snipers are solid weapons. I recommend. It's a solid choice, yeah. I have I have this so I cannot take anymore. Living shield, enemies suf suffer. 10% penalty to their hit chance with ranged attacks against the warrior for every enemy in a one cell radius around the warrior. Oh, interesting. Ramming speed. I kind of like ramming speed, increasing ramming speed. I think that's a good idea. Salt SP's basic weapons that aren't bolt weapons. It's Daka Daka. Solid laser explosive. I don't know, there are a few. Toughness. I think toughness is good for um, Abelard. I almost for some reason said Adair. I don't know why. Let's go with toughness. Mm. I don't know. What is intelligence? Lore, tech use. How are her skills affected? Let's see. Psychic Shriek. Yeah, but what is the 7 to 16? Willpower bonus, Psy rating. So it's from Willpower. Crippled down permanence. Oh no. Can be removed and fully healed on the void ship. Ah, okay. Willpower. Let's go with willpower. So we have bolt weapon, chain weapon, flame weapon, melter weapon, laser weapon, plasma weapon, power weapon. Melter plasma, bolter flame. Yeah, Melter, Plasma, Bolted Flame, and Solid. I guess. Laser. I don't know. I see lots of words here. Melee, Thrown, Pistol, Basic, Heavy. And there's Weapon Type. Yeah. There's a lot. Stronger together. All allies, including Xenos in the current party, gain plus 5 to the same characteristic as was chosen for humanity's finest. Who is humanity's finest? Is it us? Sure. I, I don't know what this is. Let's go with that. It sounds interesting, though. Ballistic skill for you, for sure. Fired up. It, this is not what I think of when I see FU. But it, it means fired up. Yeah, I will go with that. Join me in prayer. So I, I cannot heal this right crippled arm. I cannot heal it with a medikit, medkit. I don't know what I'm doing. 
You need to amputate now. No. Good. Connor class follower. Meat bag. Blade sharp. Whenever the viewer of these gloves gets an injury or falls unconscious in combat, their allies get plus one bonus to damage. I almost pressed F12, then stopped myself. Um. Okay, how do I get there? The air is dead. Raver, Master Armsman, System Status Report. By the Emperor is the Seneschal, living and breathing. The white haired man with sickly pale skin salutes you. While there's a tricky question, and the whole place is so overgrown with foul wickedry, we'll be scrubbing it off the wit screens for Tron knows how long. We need to re-establish contact with the Navigator's Sanctum. It's our only chance of escaping from the world. Your words seem to knock the officers out of their stupor, and the air around you fills with voices and commands being issued. You hear someone sobbing, one of the survivors buckling under the stress. Avalard cuffs the crying officer without even looking. Restore the Vox channel to Navigator's Sanctum. Read the crew. Prepare for translation to real space. Avalard pauses for a few seconds before turning to you. Mitral, you may call me superstitious, but translation is not a good time to disregard rules. You are the only one who speaks for House of House von Falanches. You may not be the Lord Captain, but you, more than anyone else, deserve to take your place in the ritual that is about to commence. He directs your attention upward to the throne that sits at the apex of the tall staircase. I'm ready. Begin the ritual. You know what? I may go for a dog dogmatism run for my main playthrough. Go for a full emperor kind of thing. Could be fun. The image before you is hazy, swaying in sources, currents invisible to mortal eyes. As if whatever is beneath, is beneath this thin shell is constantly changing while still remaining the same. It has taken on the guise of Theodora, but the false rock trader's eyes reveal the entity's true surreal nature. One of Theodora's eyes is engulfed in another world of fire, or other, a vessel of ancient evil pours into you. A voice seeps directly into your brain without ever reaching your ears, and this voice blooms with all the horrors of the world. Mortal, who are you to oppose the very flaws of fate? The vision lowers its head, its harrowing gaze boring into you. For but a moment, something changes in Theodora's expression. It almost looks like a shadow of fear. It matters not. Your footfalls are an echo of the sand pouring between the scales. Your hopes and fate are my mockery. I have already resisted the temptation of the warp once. Whatever you are, you will not cloud my mind with a new illusion. Theodora hisses almost painfully, as if wounded by your words. Resisting the inevitable means that the realization and submission will bring greater torment. There is no power that can hinder the flows of fate. Kunrad Waitrier says, Your head begins to spin and viscous drops slither down your cheeks. You blink and you are no longer looking at Theodora. It's the traitor Waitrier. Just as fluid and apparel as the previous apparition, the same terrifying voice ceased from his lips. The aspirant vowed to return with a trophy, a relic that could serve the edge of daybreak. That fate was assured and steps chosen, and yet you broke the unbreakable when you took the aspirant's place. I see you on the day when the final dawn rises over the iron world. I see you by my side on that day, the day of my resurrection. The image is scattered by invisible sorcerer's winds and you see Idira, her eyes aglow with some sinister flame. Your image is woven into the tapestry of things to come. I am the wheel of the weaver of destinies and today I will weave a new thread of elusive possibilities and fickle chances. The thread that will lead you out of the maw of irreversibility. The thread that will help you find the keys of, to salvation. The thread that will guide you and the weapon of our return to me. A cavalcade of hazy glimpses of a future yet unknown passes before your eyes. A flash of crimson, purple, 
The images replace one another in a violent kaleidoscope without ever letting you get a proper look at them. Through the rippling mirage, you see a twisted image of Abelard, the loyal seneschal of the dynasty. The path is set, child of the dawn. The thread is woven. Follow it, servant of mine. Master Almsman. Ravor turns around and looks up at you. He hesitates for a few moments, then addresses Abelard, who is standing next to you. Seneschal, the navigator's sanctum is silent. The walk signal is stable, which means... Abelard nod, nods absent-mindedly. The navigator gave his life battling the storm that nearly claimed the one Valencia's flagship. He will honor his memory along with that of all who died this day. Ravor does not look away. He is giving you a hard stare, his white brows furrowed. Seneschal, will you tell us now? Who is that? Where is the Lord Cavan? As first officer, it is my duty to inform you with the greatest regret and indelible sorrow that Lord Captain Theodora von Falancius is dead. May her memory never fade from the annals of the dynasty. By right of blood succession, and with the absence of other kin who could challenge this decision. It is hereby declared that the successor to Theodora von Valancius is her heir, the rightful inheritor of the Warrant of Trade, and the title of Rogue Trader. The official ascension ceremony will be held at a later time. In the interim... Oh, have you lost your tongues? Hail your lady! It is because of her toils that we all still live. <laughs> Makes sense. The deed is done, mistress. Uh, How much are you speaking into those two Sangref? Are you going all the way into them, or are you just trying to keep them higher than the others? Like some sort of balance, or are you really speaking hard into the three seas? The treachery of the Master of Whispers was fruitless, but victory came at a great cost. Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius perished along with her heir, Edelthrad, and thousands of crew members. You completed the prologue. That was it. Took me almost five hours with all the... All the stops and reading. GG's. It was fun. It was really fun. It's a good game. I'm looking forward to playing this for you. Well, this is where I will stop. I'm not going to read any of this. I think we just stop here. Very chunky prologue, it is, it is. Took you two and a half hours, so yeah, five hours makes sense. GG's everyone, GG's. Yeah, this was it, this was it. Let's, let's leave. I don't think we can play this game anytime soon. Like, it is, it's pretty much at the bottom, right? In the 83rd place. <laughs> <laughs> but I will look forward to the time when we when we play it. In the meantime, we will probably play some other Pathfinder games, like Kingmaker is very close, Wrath of the Righteous is getting close. So um But yeah, this was my pretty much introduction into both Warhammer and Owlcat RPGs. I try to play board games, have fun. Yeah, I'm going to raid, I'm going to raid someone who is uh, playing Rogue Trader as per sponsorship um, conditions. So we are going to meet some new friends. Let's find someone to raid.
Or Veru. Oh, Veru is playing... Oh, Veru is playing Warhammer, of course. We'll just go there. Yeah, we'll just go there, right? Prog is playing Rogue Trader as well. Prog was just here. Prog is not on. I don't see Prog on. Anyway, I, I raided Prog two days ago, so... We will raid where. Alright everyone, thank you so much for coming here today. I hope you enjoyed the game. I most certainly did. Um, if you are interested in picking up the game yourself, um, this stream was sponsored by Daredrop, and this is their link. Uh, you can pick the game up on Steam, or, you know, I'm not sure if it's on GOG, but this is a Steam link through their drop so i should be able to get an extra key i will um i will give it away we will have some sort of a system to choose a winner randomly i will i will figure out the details and let you know on discord once i have the extra key so stay tuned for that join discord if you want to participate it's it's might take place on discord it might take place during a stream i don't know yet i haven't decided but uh, consider joining discord regardless for other um other stuff as well I shall be back tomorrow. We are going to start Edna and Harvey second game, Harvey's New Eyes. And uh, we we will see how it is compared to the first one. The first one I enjoyed a lot, apart from a couple of weird weird stuff about it, but it was it was a good one. I'm looking forward to the second one. So yeah. Um I will see you soon, hopefully tomorrow. Until that time, take care of yourselves and be well. And for now, goodbye. Oh,